Good evening and welcome back to the Shadows of Drakenheim. This is the Dungeon Dudes Weekly Dungeons and Dragons 5th Edition Livestream Campaign. My name is Monty Martin, running the campaign as Dungeon Master. And I'm Kelly McLaughlin, playing Wilhelm Wolfsbane, the human swashbuckler rogue. And we're joined today by our good friends. Jill Denitis, playing Rudy Whitaker, the shifter eldritch knight. And Joel Gorman playing Wrath, the Asimar Warlock. Thank you for joining us once again. If you're just tuning in to our live streams for the very first time, welcome! We are the Dungeon Dudes, and Kelly and I post new videos every Thursday on our YouTube channel where we cover everything Dungeons & Dragons, including advice for players and guides for Dungeon Masters, so be sure to check us out at youtube.com slash dungeon dudes we post new videos every tuesday every other tuesday and thursday we've got some cool stuff coming up this week as well as we look at some of the most broken spell combinations in dungeons <laughs> and dragons fifth edition and then next week we're going to be rating the subclasses for the monk in the player's handbook so check all that out on youtube you can also join us on Tuesday nights when we record the campaign live on Twitch. You can check us out from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Time at twitch.tv slash dungeon underscore dudes. You can also watch the video episodes of the show on YouTube. And also, if you would like, we have now released the entire first season Dungeons of Drakenheim yeah. and up to date with season two Shadows of Drakenheim as an audio only podcast which is available on apple Podcasts, google play and spotify for your listening pleasure there as well and as a cool fun announcement for those of you watching this live this thursday kelly and i will be taking questions from our patreon supporters here on twitch again that will be happening from 6 p.m to 8 p.m eastern time on our twitch channel and we are very proud to announce that we will be having a very special guest joining us brennan lee mulligan of dimension 20 and college humor will be joining us to answer those questions sent in by our patron supporters and interact with chat we're going to be talking about uh get uh role -play Playing your best characters so talking about how we get all the great role-playing creativity flowing so be sure to tune in uh, for that on Thursday and if you're catching this broadcast afterwards we will have that up on YouTube afterwards as well with that I believe it is time for us to return to the shadows Drakenheim is no more for 15 years, we foolishly believed the madness and mayhem of that crumbling city was confined to the ruins. We were wrong. Insidious horrors have crept out of the shadow of Drakenheim into a world unprepared for such nightmares. Tales of strange magic, swirling haze, and unspeakable terrors echo through the villages and towns surrounding that first place. Now, the Dusk Wardens, a new band of heroes, are tasked with driving out the seeping tendrils of the spreading darkness before it takes root. Welcome back to the Shadows of Drakenheim. When last we left our heroes, they had delved into the depths of the Dransman sewers in pursuit of a vicious band of rattlings who had taken root in the sewers. Finding the location of the nest by deceiving a poor rattling prisoner known as Shorttail with their magic, our heroes infiltrated the rattling's feast and caused quite a ruckus along the way. Now they have found a small burrow just off the main halls of the rattling's where curious documents are scattered about. If we look up at our map right here, so you've come into this small chamber. It's only accessible by taking the, the makeshift bridge that has been constructed across the underground river uh, back over here. And while it branches off to another path to the north, and in fact from the main rattling chamber, 
There was another path leading off as well that you haven't uh, explored yet. Several ratlings fled that way. You have now moved through the chamber of the cowhide rug into this small and quite well-appointed chamber. It appears that only a single ratling uses this as its dwelling, for there is a pile of hay stacked up upon twigs and several pillows, children's toys, and discarded bits of clothing, all of which appear to be rather high quality and soft clothing that form a small nest in the corner over here. There are several candles and lanterns scattered throughout the room, and in fact, you can see that there is a small doll made in the image of a rat with a little crown on it that has two very small pieces of delirium for eyes that is nestled in the bedding. And across from the bedding are two other notable things. First, there is a large chest with several piles of gold, jewelry, other gemstones, and other bits of coinage that look like they have been scavenged from bodies, and a small board that looks like it used to be a door, perhaps, or perhaps the shutter of a window that has been propped up to make a makeshift writing desk. There are scrolls all scattered about, books and other documents, in, in fact, what looked to be several spell books too, and bits of ink which may or may not be made out of blood or feces, and a large map. Uh, what is on the very top is a very rudimentary map of Westamar, but there are many other papers and scrolls scattered about. I don't find it strange that we found this in a, in a rat's den. The rats can't be this intelligent in maps and spell books. They did mention that uh, there were, R River had mentioned that there were some rats that had proven to be more intelligent than others. And judging by the looks of this room, it wasn't the big Chonkers, was it? It wasn't Chonkers. He didn't live here. The, so the bed is too small for a rattling of that size. So I, I mean, would... Any of the other ones we've come across have not been... They've had intelligence, yeah, for basic language, but not not anything significant. I say we uh, we search the place and see what we can find, and then get out of here. I wouldn't want to stop too long. This is rat country. <laughs> um, plus, if I do recall, there was a mention of a, uh, a chungus as well, and mm -hmm. uh, perhaps. Perhaps a leader of some sort, an intelligent rat. We might want to check the scrolls and other belongings in this room. And um, I'm worried that with the commotion that we may have just caused, if there are other ratlings nearby, they probably already know we're here. Most likely, uh, that we're in for another battle to get out of this place. Uh, Rudy, did you want me to keep watch? Is it is it loud enough for you to keep watch? <laughs> is it light enough for me to keep watch? <laughs> um, uh, you would need a light source yourself to keep watch effectively. Look, we we found something. We should take what we could use as valuable information, but our task is not complete. We must destroy this entire nest and every every remnant of the rats. You heard River. She spoke of the plague that affects Drakenheim has come this far. It would only be a matter of time before the rats repopulate and take back over. We have to destroy every remnant and not allow them back in. We cannot leave yet. Of course. <laughs> yeah, agree. now, do we grab the stuff in this room or do we leave it for later and come back for it? I think at least some of the documents might be mighty important not to leave. Gold, of course, is important, but <laughs> it's important for our expedition. Um, All right, Rath, you grab the documents. I'll grab the <laughs> the gold. Wilhelm, keep an eye out. <laughs> keep, eye. At least a good eye out. Okay, <laughs> a good eye out. Well, uh, rule number sixty three: gold has no value to the dead, and if we plan to kill all the rats, then I would say that that gold is for us. <laughs> 
Yes. Uh, I will keep an eye out and I turn into the darkness and strain my eye to try to <laughs> keep a watch. I mean, you do have your dagger, don't you? I, it, yes, Rudy. I, <laughs> let's just make me a glowing beacon so that the rats all see me well before I see them. If I keep the lights off, at least I might have a chance to see something moving in the dark before they see me. Bruce, if food comes, let us know so that we may help you eat it. Yeah, send Bruce with Willow. Um, and You're a good team. Also, Rath, you look a little hurt. Do you need any potions oh. while we're here? <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. Can I take I, a- I, I have a, like I have like a chunk of myself missing because of uh, uh, Chonker's sword <laughs> as he stabbed it into me. Uh, I, I'll drink another. Uh, greater healing potion same yeah i'm gonna drink one to bring me up um and then i'm gonna go over to the gold and start shoving it in whatever bag or something <laughs> uh cracking open the the gold there are several gemstones and approximately there could be about between the gold the gemstones the jewelry and the other things assembled there could be approximately three thousand maybe four thousand gold worth of valuables here um it's quite a haul um, and as you, uh, as you sort through it, make an investigation check, Rudy. Hmm. 17. 17. Um, one of the gems inside is a, in this pile, is actually quite large. And it's, it looks like to be a large ruby. But as you go to pick it up, it's almost hot as coal when you pick it up. Ah, uh, Rat, there's this hot gem. I assume magic whenever something doesn't seem right. Can you come take a look? Uh, can I pick it up with my uh, yeah. mage hand? Yeah, it, it is certainly magical. Um, you might need to spend a little bit more time to determine the nature of its magic, though. Hmm. We'll have to save this for later. I don't believe we have the time to determine it but you're right it's hot i suggest in the future not picking up hot things with your bare hands well if i knew i wouldn't have picked it up but good advice as always wrath thank you i am uh, a betrayer of great advice um can i wrap it in like i don't know some sort of clothing yeah a glove perhaps yeah Yeah. like if i and it doesn't burn it (laughs) Uh, it, it it's enough that it's like an oven mitt around it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. it's like and picking I, up a hot skillet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna add hot gem. <laughs> right, <laughs> Rath. What did you want to sort through? Uh, I want to grab that map that Bruce found before, um, and I really want to take a look at that little uh, that little rat totem. Cool. I want to take a closer look at that. There is a small doll beside the bed. It is shaped like a rat with what looks like to... Uh, looking at it, it has either claws or maybe it's carrying a small sword of some kind. And it has a little little black cape and a crown and eyes made of two small pieces of delirium. This seems to be some kind of god that they worship. Or uh, some kind of action figure amongst their people. Uh... <laughs> Maybe a uh, <laughs> maybe a hero amongst them, um, uh, an idol, if you will. I will keep this for sentimental reasons to remember my time as a rattling. <laughs> the rough you pick up the rough map, and the map depicts Westmar with uh, a large red arrow going down the Dran River towards Ash Bay. It's crudely rendered, but there's a large circle perhaps written blood uh, around Ash Bay and several scrawled question marks saying where fish, where shiny. And then there's a few other smaller arrows going out from Drakenheim to, uh, to um, down the waterways towards other cities, both upriver and downriver from Drakenheim itself. Another piece of advice friends never write in blood you slowly and you quickly run out of ink there's (laughs) (laughs) 
I will keep this and I will also study it in hopes to not go further into my own madness. As you pick up the map, there's a few other documents uh, that are underneath the map as you li lift it up. One appears to be, a, uh, they all appear to be lists uh, of some kind. The first is a list of very mundane objects. In a crude hand, it is. it says wood, metal, sheep, grain, stone, nails, skin, ropes, wheels, windmill, and then the last thing, question mark, air? <laughs> hmm. Picking up the list beside it, you can see that there is a very strangely rendered drawing. It looks to be the hull of a boat, and inside are several stick figure like ratlings that are all <laughs> smiling and carrying carrying spears. But the ship doesn't have a mast. Instead, it looks like some sort of shell is covering the main deck of the ship, and the the um the sails of a windmill have been affixed to the back of the boat, and there's several weir wheels and gears on the inside. And looking at the drawing, it looks like the boat is under the water, and there are several pipes coming up from the boat poking out of the water. The front, the front mass of the boat looks to be drawn like to resemble the face of a rat. Someone has taken our turn boat upside down move and expanded on it. They must have seen us in the caves in the ruins. Where spying on us? We intelligently found a way to create a submersible vehicle. Um, on the back side of it is written the following: following step one, kill fishes. Step two, kill humans. Step three, question mark, question mark, question mark. <laughs> step four, steal boat. Step five, kill more humans. Step six, fix boat. Step seven, question mark, question mark, question mark. Step eight, get shiny. <laughs> they are much more intelligent than we give them credit for. <laughs> and then a final page is written in bold, in bold letters, questions to ask rat god. The first question is, what your favorite color? The second question is, how best cook humans? The third question is, where big fat fish mama? The fourth question is, where big underwater shiny? And the fifth question is, where rat prints? These items that are on the list, because I also imagine when you were describing the picture, is it like a picture you'd find on someone's fridge of like their five year olds? <laughs> yeah, like, like yeah. so it's like this big shape and there's all these like stick people and like <laughs> <laughs> please someone draw that. Please someone add that to the fan art. <laughs> um, are any of the things on the list of mundane items, like the skin and the sheep and the wood and the sea, are they in this room? No. Okay. No. Uh, be, be, uh, um, it, it, it looks like the list has several boxes beside each item that are meant to be checked off, but none of the items have been checked off yet. Hmm. Well, Wrath, do these look like spell components, maybe? Like, I mean, I don't know if skin is a component, but. I'm starting to think that these are blueprints for so kind of like a spell, but in the sense that they were planning on building something. These creatures are mindless beasts with a horrible appetite, but they are engineers at their simplest. They dig these massive tunnels. They must have some sort of leadership that is devising plans. This is not good. Not good at all. I think we underestimated the intelligence of these creatures, even though they can't really speak proper common. These plans cannot stay here. They must come with us or be destroyed. My hope is that only a few of them are capable of 
putting together such great machines or buildings. Um, beyond through the rest, you do find fa- four other magical arcane scrolls. One is a scroll of darkness. One is a scroll of stinking cloud. One is a scroll of polymorph. And the last is a scroll of contact other plane. You got all those, Wrath? And, um, however, polymorph, stinking cloud, darkness, contact other plane. Yes. However, it seems that the scroll, something in the scroll is fixed, and the individual that it is meant to contact has already been determined. Oh. It, 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 does it say or no? With some study, do you think I could with, just determine what yeah, the it would probably take you about, is? like looking at it offhand. This is what you can determine with about an hour of study. You could determine who is who it is meant to contact. Now I'm I'm no mage, uh, and I've just been kind of eavesdropping on your conversation from out here in the dark hallway. But um, oh my gosh, you're here! <laughs> uh, yes, I. Yes. Um, you sneak back up and you're like right <laughs> over. <her. laughs> yeah, I like just appear out of the shadows. Um, perhaps it was to contact their supposed rat god. Would they, they've spoken of it many. They, they have a list of questions that you just read out loud. Uh, they want to ask it its favorite color. Perhaps this was the method they were going to use to ask it its favorite color. Maybe. I mean, maybe I'm underestimating them again, but do they really think they have a rat god on another plane? Like, I, I would be concerned to use that scroll in particular. Now, I'm no expert on magic. I know next to nothing, you could say. Um, so I'll just see myself out and I fade back <laughs> into the shadows. No, Wilhelm, <laughs> you're right. This could be dire, but this rat god may be something else something that they do not totally understand for i have contacted beings from other planes and you you only see a glimpse are you okay (laughs) what (laughs) what is okay you dabble in (laughs) where Uh, am i (laughs) when we get out of here i'm going to have a conversation with you and we're going to talk about your magic because I'm worried that you might be losing yourself in your own disguises. Um, but beyond that, uh, just based on what you've found here, I would say that we ask River. She, she's, she's far wiser than other spellcasters we've met. I can figure this out. Okay. But you are correct. This, this would be dangerous to play with lightly i would need to make sure that we know who we're talking to when you open these channels to other worlds they're not as simple as naming uh a being you never really know who could be on the other line so it is important that we tread lightly although i will probably give you this scroll of darkness because I don't. It, it's gibberish. I don't. You know, I, I need to get back to my watch. I'm oh, yes, sure. You, <laughs> I'm, I'd also uh, be interested to see, you know what, Wrath? Take some time looking at these drawings and scrolls. But River seemed to know a little bit about these rats when we told her about them. I'd be interested to see what she may know about this rat god, supposedly, that they worship because uh, they may have some information. The Academy. Uh, very Agreed. Good. As the two of you gather up the rest of the paperwork and treasure, Wilhelm, you head back to your watch. Um, as you do so, Wil- Wilhelm, give me a perception check. Is there any light source, or am I doing this with disadvantage? Are you using a light source? So I, I, I didn't get to say this, but I did have a bit of a plan. Uh, my plan was I don't want to be in the light. Like, I don't want to be just illuminating myself, but I do have a candle in my equipment. So I thought that I would light a candle and stick it around the hallway and then stand outside of the light source so that I could watch to see if anything comes into the light. Okay. I'm also listening intently. Cool. So do two things for me. 
first yes. uh, you you plant the candle um and we will uh just go back over to our map here and let's just say do you did you want to plant the candle like the, in this area yeah here? like like okay. right near the wall here and then i'm kind of back here hiding against the wall with my hood up i am crouched down and watching and are listening. you wearing your uh your I, I, your yes, fun hood? I have my fun hood up for <laughs> <Okay>. Wilhelm's surprise. <laughs> cool. So as you hide in place, give me a perception check. Seventeen. Okay. You barely notice this. But with the way with where you have positioned the flickering flame the light sort of reflects off the water and and around and there's the dripping of water down the cavern the flowing of water which makes it difficult to perfectly hear but you hear the tumbling of stone and as you look you see a flickering in the shadows which and the glimmer for a brief moment of a rat-like tail around the corner. So like it's it's like you don't quite have direct sight to it. It's something that's over like see how where you're positioned you wouldn't be able to see something that was there. Yeah. But with the reflection of the light in the cavern where you put the candle, you can kind of see from the bounce of the light and the way the the light bounces about that something has moved up there. I am going to pick up a small pebble and throw it at Rudy's back just to get her attention. Uh, a pebble hits you in the back, Rudy. Rudy. What do you want, Willow? <laughs> Don't throw pebbles at me. I, I can see you making these gestures because I have dark vision, so... <laughs> um, Rab, I think there's something, something in here. Wilhelm, if something's there... Wave your arms in the air like you just don't care. <laughs> Something's there. I say that in his mind. <laughs> so he hears it in his mind. Something's there, Rudy. We should take what we have and get out of here. Wilhelm, what are you going to do? I am going to very, very quietly and very, very carefully uh sneak not so that i'm in the light i want to come just to the edge of the light and try to like peek around uh the corner to try to see if i can spot anything cool as you go to peek around the corner another rattling peeks directly around the corner and you're you're basically face to face with each other as you come around the corner it's sneaking around as you're sneaking around <laughs> So we see each other. Yeah, you see each other. This, there's, it's just a simultaneous moment of like two people sneaking around the same corner to look and see if someone else is around the corner. And then, as as I do, I go, "Hello there!" It screams, and it. And, <laughs> and I, th I, I'm going like I know that this is going to initiate initiative, but I, 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 I try to go for it, like. Try yeah. To react. R let's roll for initiative. <laughs> oh wow! Okay. Wani. Woo. Wilhelm. Thirteen. Wrath. Fourteen. Oh no. <laughs> You're surprised. So the rattling screams in your face, Wilhelm, and you and it kind of like the spit <laughs> splatters yeah. in your eye and red and screeches uh. in your ears. Uh, um, I, I I'm gonna say that for the first round, Rudy and Wrath, you are um you knew something was there, but not something was this close. So the two of you are surprised, but mm. Wilhelm and the rattling aren't. Okay. So who rolled higher? The rattling did. Ah, nuts. So the rattling <laughs> is going to disengage and make a break for it. Back and snaking around the corner. Um, and then we go to Wilhelm. 
this is probably a bad choice in this, but um, rule number nine, when in doubt, improvise. And I'm going to bonus action dash. So I'm going to, first I'm going to move to here to see what I see. Okay. Uh, so. Sorry. It's a little, little tricky. So it's even narrower. <laughs> Oh. It snakes around just like that, and you can see the traces of the, of the rattling's feet have gone have bolted around the corner. What do you do? Um, okay, so I am going to bonus action dash, but I'm just going to move. So I'm only going to move five feet at first because I I need to watch where I'm going. Okay. The path continues. How far did this guy get? Um, and then right here, we're just off the screen, it splits left and right. Damn. Um, I quickly glance at the ground. Is there any sign of footprints or anything? You can see the rattling tail just whipping aloft off the quarter to the to the left am i it i'm guessing it dashed as well yeah it did but it was only five feet away from me so if i dash i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna go after it well you're not the only one in the world who can take cunning actions <laughs> uh. <Ooh. laughs> i'm i'm going after it Okay. Wilhelm, you're as cunning as a rat. This Wilhelm, is a, a make new a, development. Make a perception check. Nineteen. Okay. Here's what happens. Wilhelm, as you move forward to the in into the intersection. I'll bring our map up. <laughs> you're in the dark. <laughs> 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 As you move forward into the intersection, what appeared, um, you just get this slightly muddy feeling on your toe as you step forward to go to go to dash. The pathway goes in two directions. To the left, it snakes downward. To the right, it snakes upward. And you see that this whole pathway here is slick with mud. The pathway that heads to the east or to on the right-hand side, it is slick with mud and sloped downwards that you might surmise form a bit of a slip and slide on your way down into, as the ground collapses beneath you, a spiked pit filled with pontoons and at the bottom, several hungry rats. The classic <laughs> rat <vu>. trap. <laughs> but as your foot I'm sinks into the mud, you see the pit opening up beneath you. And I'm going to let you make your dexterity saving throw with advantage. <laughs> 21. You manage to leap clear of the pit as you hear the hungry rattlings below. And in front of you, you see there is your quarry. Um, I should be able to get up to him, or was the jump away? Yeah? Yeah, the jump was part of the move. All right, so I, I, I step onto the slick ground, see the trap open up, I leap, and I land right in front, and I'm like, and I say, trying to get away, are we? And I, I stab him with my rapier. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Twenty-five to hit. That's a hit. And I'm going to use uh, my roguish sneak attack. Yeah. Twenty damage. Twenty damage. Yeah. You race him down, and as he turns in a simple moment to try to get away from you, you stab him, taking advantage of your swashbuckling feature. Uh, and that's enough to kill him. <laughs> what do you yes. want to do? <laughs> so I, I imagine that I leap into the air, and as I land, I, I he's turning to run, and I push my blade through his spine and almost, like, pin him to the ground. Like, it goes through him and into the ground, and he's kind of just skewered there. He is very dead. <laughs> well done. 
Um, so with that, there's not too much for for the Rattling to do, because he's dead. Uh, but Rudy and Wrath, what are the two of you going to do? So he just booked it. We're yeah, just you, you like just, saw just saw him book it. Run. Yeah, you just saw him run. I guess we should go give him back up, Wrath. Yeah, I'm going to follow. Um, Let's go. <laughs> so yeah, I guess uh, if we're still in an... Are we still in initiative? Uh, yeah, for the for the time being, we will say that we are. I will just reveal a little bit more okay. for the sake of Wilhelm here. I'm gonna dash. Yeah, I'm gonna dash too and have Bruce dash. I think I can dash. get there. I think I can get yeah here. Yeah. So as the two of you come running, you you hear the just the sound the the shink sound coming from around the cor- the the corner, um, and then the two of you uh, then Wilhelm, what do you do? Um, I'm, I'm going to listen. I'm, I'm listening to see if there's any sounds of rats nearby. Oh, and I, I also actually, do I hear them coming down the corridor? Yeah. And actually both Rudy and Wrath, give me perception checks. Well, uh, uh, 14. Okay. Uh, um, you hear the sound of skittering and squeaking rats, uh, but uh, what's happened ahead of you, you're not entirely sure what's what's gone on. So, With, with my blade glowing, um, oh, I, yeah, I you, do... They can definitely see the glow bouncing around the, the, the hallway. And, and I yell back, I'm like, watch out for a trap! There's a, a pit up ahead of you. And I'm going to stand there with my glowing sword and be on the ready for any more rattlings that emerge. Yeah, Wilhelm, you can see that you can hear the sound of water ahead, and looking down the rest of the corridor, you can actually see that that there is another bridge open up to the underground river uh, that leads into another passage that continues on to the west um, from here. So this continues to slope slightly downward, but from here you can hear the water once again. And uh, and smell it actually as as well, mm. um, and see the the uh, the bridge that has been built a, a across this way. But from here to there, you don't see any other rattlings. Mm. Um, within uh, within another moment, the group of you are reunited at the at the intersection. What do you want to do? Ooh, I'm going to hop over this trap. Say, Wilhelm. <laughs> Any more rats around? I don't see or hear any, but there's another bridge up ahead. The rat that's uh, snuck up on us, uh, well, you can see him here on the ground. He's quite dead. So he did not get... Possibly. And we have ended his scouting attempt. So we may still have the drop on the rest of the rats if we can move quietly. What's back down this other passage? I did not check. Well done, Wilhelm. Well, thank you, Rath. I'm just going to quickly hop across the trap again and just take a peek around and see. Cool. So this is a sloped and muddy pathway. So it takes a little bit of effort to climb. Give me a, an athletics check. 21. Okay. You were able to clamber your way back up. If you want to go all the way back to the top, you can. You'd need to get to the top to see what's there. Okay. We're up. Okay. It ends at the top with a burst out in a burst out stone room that looks like it might have once been part of the sewers. It is a rectangular room with a staircase leading upwards. The room itself is extraordinarily clean, aside from the rubble. Hmm. And then another set of stairs leads upwards. Upwards? Yes. And if I peek back around this way, do I see anything up the stairs? You can see to the top of the stairs where there are, where you can just catch the glimpse if you get up on your tiptoes of several skeletons. Rudy, remember there was an alternate trapped entrance. Be wary up there. It's definitely a trap. Don't go that way. <laughs> I come back down. <laughs> and I hop across the other trap and be like, there's so many traps. Mm. These are crafty creatures. Rule number three, never underestimate your foe. We should be wary of more traps as we move forward. Mm. 
All right, I say we head across this bridge and see if we can catch him by surprise. I'll uh, I'll sneak ahead and try to. I'm I'm the worst scout in the dark, but I'm going to sneak the ahead. Worst and scout try is to our see. sneakiest. <laughs> I can uh, I can s ask Bruce if he would like to go. I was born in the darkness. I I thrive in it. I can't see a thing. Please, you have to live in it. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, Wrath. that was because yeah. of your eye. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Wrath. Thank you. Oh. So, are you sending Bruce forward? Yeah, you send Bruce. Um, I can ask Bruce if he wants to go. Yeah. Are you moving with stealth? I am. Okay. I hope everybody is. I don't know. There's Try. almost nowhere to hide if you go across the bridge. And the way that it, this rickety bridge looks, Wilhelm, you can tell it's going to make a lot of noise if you cross it. Mm. How long is the bridge? How far across? Yeah. That's, uh... Uh... You know, if we're not snapping it from the edge to the edge, 20 feet. Can I jump 20 feet? Can I toss you 20 With feet? With a running start? <laughs> you can, can you jump. It? You can get a number of feet equal to your strength score. Eight. <laughs> okay. So you land in the middle of the bridge with a loud, creaky thud. I could have I... thrown you. No, I'm, I'm not running and jumping. I'm, I'm, I'm analyzing the situation. Um... <laughs> You're like you're <laughs> estimating, and you just imagine yourself like landing in the middle of the bridge. Yeah. Hmm. It's the t the total score for it. That that's how many feet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, I can how jump twenty. <laughs> can <laughs> how high is um, the ceiling here? <laughs> about ten feet high. I mean, While I can I can sh I can shot put you over. <laughs> While Perhaps you're doing the math, uh, I could send Bruce over. Yeah. Yes. Um, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of go into Bruce's body and start to uh, s slink up to the bridge and just sort of check it out. I want to see, I, it, it looks rickety, but I want to kind of get a feel for like, is it also trapped? Does it have something underneath it? Hmm. Um, From Bruce's quick inspection, um, it does not appear particularly sturdy, but enough to hold the weight of a rattling. Hmm. Um. <laughs> so rattlings weigh less than a hundred pounds. The, the your typical rattling is anywhere from like thirty to fifty kilograms. This bridge could definitely hold one or two rattlings, but not much more than that. Maybe we'll do. Uh, Bruce will fly across and land on the other side and just kind of check out the area okay with stealth so as real sneaky give me a stealth check for bruce oh boy whoa uh 24 <laughs> okay it's tricky because once he gets to the other side of the bridge there's not too much be to hide behind unless he's going to stop at the base could, of the bridge could he could he stop like could he uh fly beside it and kind of like peek his head up like on the other yeah environment? yeah and now give me a perception check for bruce the uh eight okay so bruce sees as follows L looking through bruce's eyes you can see that the corridor continues and widens somewhat Big enough for one of the bigger rattlings to get through. And it, and uh, Bruce has dark vision, yeah? Mm hmm So from Bruce's square, he can see... Yeah, he can see this. The tunnel opens up into a wide chamber that is supported by two pillars. Around the pillars are chained several human skeletons uh well they look like they were human but they actually have fish like skulls looks like several fish folk have been chained up to these pillars here and 
there's some of them are skeletal some of them are just corpses and there's blood stains all around them they, uh, and their rib cages are pulled out as if they'd been gutted like a fish Who would do such a thing to these poor fish folk there well, are looks- several this room is illuminated and you can see that the the edge of the room ends here the uh and in fact even from all of you back here you can see a little bit of the illumination coming from this room there is an octarine glow tainted with streaks of red and blue coming through this chamber the ceiling is only 10 feet high but rudy if you uh stand at the edge of the bridge and launch me but more not up but across and i can probably roll out the other side i'm thinking like grab the collar grab the top of the pants do a twirl get some momentum like i <laughs> you know like discus i mean i think the launching idea put you, you want to toss me <laughs> I mean, unless I you want to hit the ceiling with, with your head the the momentum of the, the Listen, there got to be a lot of straight momentum because if, if you want to go up and then over, it's 20 feet. You're going to hit the ceiling before you're going to get over that arc. But you're going to toss me 20 feet. Why not? <laughs> Rath, who do you think has the better chance? Me being launched by Rudy or Rudy tossing me? I'm just thinking about how we're going to get back. If oh, this guess- bridge gives way, we may be in a... Will we fall into the in water? A bad place. I mean, the, the water is quite smelly, and I again hate wet boots. But it might be an optimal choice. The water is flowing. All of you can roll towards her. Uh, oh no! Three, five, oh six. Okay. Throw them. As you, the, the group of you deliberate, you hear a scurrying and a rattling runs across the opening of the tunnel the rattling is carrying several skulls books and scrolls and it runs across the room to the other side doesn't seem to 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 notice you and you you hear uh another voice saying take 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 it all we must go yes 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 we must go we must go we must go and there's other several other rattling voices saying we must go we must go and then you hear this other smaller voice saying yes 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 mongus you stay here yes 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 make sure i get away yes 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 all right there's no time Rudy. ready to be launched three yeah. two one run and go and i i run and <laughs> i rudy launches me and backwards. i do like an acrobatics parkour dive and bruce is watching okay i actually intently. rudy you can make an athletics check and wilhelm make an acrobatics check Woo! uh 23 12. all right actually I, i'm gonna i'm gonna luck i'm gonna luck point that actually no i'm gonna stick with 12. no no, I'm gonna lock point it. He's trying to read Monty's face while he decides to <laughs> read <laughs> his <laughs> That's exactly Dude, what I'm oh, doing. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm using a lock point. Uh, that's gonna be okay. That's 27. Okay. <laughs> so instead of face planting, in a moment of extreme luck, you manage to barrel roll forward and land gracefully on the other side, uh, Wilhelm, just having been thrown. Just as you see two things happen. First, a very small rattling runs around the corner. She is maybe two and a half feet tall. She has glasses that look like they're about an inch thick pointed on the end of her nose. Her eyes are glowing with octarine and delirium light and she is carrying a backpack filled with scrolls and books and a small wand and she she sees you as as you land and she says oh 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 no and as she looks at you with with beady little eyes of fear a much larger rattling steps out from around the corner behind her Oh no. 
it is even larger than Chonker. But where Chonker was all fat, this one is all muscle. With rippling arms as thick as tree trunks and these small legs that look like he skipped leg day, in a pro like inexplicably holding up the body of this creature, which is covered in metal rods and plugs and several glass orbs going all up and down its spine. As it comes around the corner, all the orbs of glass light up with phosphorescent light and a ozone-like hum hits the air as a corona of lightning covers the creature. It doesn't have a face. It's just a skull with, filled with crackling lightning over a muscled body. Roll for initiative. Oh, Last no. Movie. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> So we throw I'm not, well not rolling grass. very well tonight. Yeah. yeah, I got 15. I got 14. I got 20. Hey. Okay, what do we got? Wrath? Uh, 20. Okay. 15. 15 for Rudy. Rudy. And 14 for Wilhelm. Okay. Very well. Um, well, you aren't all the way there yet. I will reveal the rest of the room and I will describe it once you get closer in. Great. The first to act is actually way in the back. And that's going to be Wrath. What are you going to do, buddy? Um, okay, quick look at this bridge. I know you were saying uh, some of these rattlings are pretty uh pretty small but could i could i run across it you can certainly try <laughs> so on that note um from a safe distance i'm going to step aside step up to rudy and uh take some shots at uh at this humongous beast uh with my eldritch blast so not even thinking twice, just going to take a shot. Uh, oh, I, I get an 11 to hit. The shot goes wide. This distance, I'm not used to it. Oh, man, another one. Just I'm, I'm sort of in awe at the size of this creature. Yes, a big and wonderful creature. <laughs> I turned to, <laughs> to Rudy. Uh, what is that? Uh, I think that's the other large rat that we uh, were told about. Please don't throw me at it. Wrath, try hitting the target, please. <laughs> <laughs> Wilhelm, you may want to come back. I can't. <laughs> Rudy. That's, uh, that's uh, as I stand there in awe. Alrighty. Uh, it, is, the water. Uh, it is Scribble's turn. Oh, and no. she uh, she looks at you. She looks at, um, she looks at Chungus. She places one hand on it, and she casts haste haste on him. Oh, I mean, I don't know what that is, but I just see her. It looks like she's casting a spell on it. Right? Yeah, she she casts a spell, and all of a sudden, just it's like a jolt goes through its body, and it's starting to move really fast. Rudy, uh, and then she. Walks over here. <laughs> oh, no! no. <laughs> <laughs> and at that, this point, uh, several other rattlings scurry past, all of them holding scrolls and books, and they all just run, and some of them say, Thanks! Thanks! Save some food for us! Bye, bye, bye! <laughs> There's nowhere to hide! <laughs> Uh, Rudy, it's your turn. All right. Um, so you said I could jump my my strength uh, with a ten foot running start. Yes, and that counts against your speed. 
Otherwise, without a running start, it's half. Mm. Uh, hold on, actually. Um, um. Okay, no, I got, I got this, I got this. Okay. Um, I say, you know what? Two can play at that game, and I take a potion of speed <laughs> <laughs> to gain haste myself. Okay, that will um, that will be an action, but you do gain back an additional bonus action. Yep, and I'm gonna use a uh, dash on that. Okay, because um, I I think it's only attack dash disengage hide uh, that I can use for it. But my AC goes up by two, advantage on uh, dex throws. Uh, so I I back up ten feet, <laughs> <laughs> and I so that's t- <laughs> fifty. 40 and then i jump <laughs> 20 plus 10 so 30 and then i move up to uh and i look like i'm like you know like when you have too much coffee i'm like yes <laughs> all right big boy i'm, I'm ready <laughs> shaking <laughs> um, oh thank thank lord thank the lords thank the flame then, <laughs> is it that i get another action or is that an a bonus uh, action. You would have. Uh, uh, you spent the action drinking the potion. You got yep. a bonus action to. You use that action to dash. Your speed was also increased by, by the haste spell, uh, and then you moved. So you do have your bonus action remaining if there's something that you can do with it. Perfect. And I shift, um, gaining nine additional. Uh, sorry, a, a nine temporary hit points and turning into a fantastic beast myself. And I say, beast against beast. Are you ready, boy? All righty. Uh, Wilhelm, it's your turn. All right. Uh, finding my confidence in a shifted Rudy. Oh, that's not going to be close enough, is it? Damn. All right. I'm, I'm going to simply run up uh, near next to Rudy, and over her shoulder, I'm just going to let a um, a bolt loose from my crossbow. Uh, getting a 17 to hit. That is a hit. All right. That's going to be six damage. Okay. And I'm going to fire a second shot. Uh, That's also going to be a hit for uh, five damage. Okay. And Um, then I fall back towards the bridge. He seems rather unperturbed by that. Yeah, I I fire twice. They stick into him. He makes no notice of the bolts whatsoever. And my confidence, gained by Rudy leaping in front of me, is diminished. And I take a step backwards and cower into the shadows. Okay. Crying out in a burning rage, uh, Mungus the Humongous Jungus uh, barrels forward towards Rudy, clamping his fists together, which crackle with lightning, and he simply puts the two hands together and comes with an underhand punt-like swing towards you, Rudy. Uh, Getting a 20 to hit. Oh, okay. The two fists deal uh, deal a total of ten points of bludgeoning damage, but his fists also cast thunderous smite on you. <laughs> yeah. uh, and so a ring of thunder cracks out uh, at uh, a range, uh, uh, and you take an additional ten points of thunder damage. Uh, and I need you to make a strength saving throw. 18. 18. That, I- uh, that is a successful save. So you uh, you are not pushed and you are not knocked prone. But then he just continues to attack you. <laughs> uh, getting a critical hit. <laughs> oh, oh no. Uh, this one is going to be 20 points of bludgeoning damage. And the last attack that he makes is another critical hit. What? (laughs) Monty, stop. Uh, For another 21 points of bludgeoning damage. Rudy? 
I'm and just watching. Like, <laughs> and the I, I, I will, yeah, I will note that he was attacking recklessly, so attacks against him will not have advantage. But uh, just with this crazy rage, just coming forward, barreling oh in gosh. in the fists with a crack, crack smash. Oh so that my was the, God. Two, the two basic attacks and the extra attack from haste. So Rudy just comes to my rescue <laughs> and then gets gets dummied. Just, just. The, the the fists just punching and punching and punching and and the crack of the lightning and just the booming echoing down the the, the hallways from the the attacks oh, I feel, this in, feel this in my soul a little bit ouch ow ow you're like big howl Rudy. Ow. Ow. <laughs> she's like trying to block the arms but it's not working all righty um with that we go back to the top of the round with wrath okay um i feverishly look into my bag and i whip out the scroll of polymorph <laughs> and i i'm just trying to encant it in the moment and i and i'm gonna cast it okay so once again polymorph is not technically on the warlock spell list but it is available through an invocation. So, in light of that, I'm going to allow you to make an Arcana check to cast the spell. Okay. 16. 16? Do I figure it out? You figure it out. Uh, but I would like you... Um, I'm this holding this sounds like a good uh, time in <laughs> any, as any. So... Um, a little bit of a, a fun aside. I've been thinking a lot about how the wild magic table is not very appropriate for our purposes in this campaign, because the wild magic table has a lot of results that are only unique to sorcerers. And also, if we ever publish something, we can't actually use it because it's not in the OGL. So I have a new table called Arcane oh. Anomalies, which is my version of wild magic, Drakenheimified. So we're going to roll on that. Plant on there? Okay, I have a I have a question. Do we roll after it works or before it works or just do oh, it? Oh, the spell has worked. Okay. Okay. But the anomaly is going to happen. <laughs> and and what am I rolling on the D100, the classic D100? Uh for for now it, you can actually just uh roll a D1 uh, a D20. Oh no. It's even scarier. 7. 7? I'm so excited. <laughs> Okay. He's okay. An anomaly. <laughs> so, safer. everybody within 30 feet, uh, sorry, 60 feet of you, is going to be healed for 1d6 point of damage as wild magic breaks out. But then everybody within 60 feet of you now, now needs to roll a d20, and whoever gets the lowest takes damage equal to the total amount of healing. Does that include uh, Mungus the Humongous Chungus? <laughs> yes. So... <laughs> Oh, he, I rolled six. He gets so, two back. I rolled a five on my d6. Okay. And an eight on my d20. I rolled okay. a nine on my d20. Okay. No, what did you roll on your I rolled a three on my d20. not me. I wouldn't survive this. Uh, and Wilhelm, what did you get for healing? Um, I mean, I'm at full health, so. Uh, you still get it. Oh, uh, one. I rolled a one. And br what does Bruce get for healing? Oh, um, he got a one, and he rolled a uh, a, a ten. Okay, on his D20. so Wrath, you take fifteen <laughs> points of necrotic damage, but ah! everyone else heals. <laughs> Yay! Ah! <laughs> what is in this writing? <laughs> As a, uh, basically a wave of necrotic energy bursts out of the scroll, reaches into everybody and heal, and, and basically the life force comes out of you and goes into everybody else. And uh, as as I try to to fight through the the necrotic damage, oh wait, um, I'm ne I'm resistant to necrotic damage, so I take a half, a but a half. Oh. Nice. Okay, so uh, right. who are you casting Polymorph on? I'm casting it on Mungus the Humongous <laughs> Chungus. <laughs> okay, so I gotta make a wisdom saving throw. Uh-huh. I get a nine. 
and I'm going to turn him into a, a lovable little sheep. <laughs> So this giant monstrosity just starts to and and just and, and just go. But he's an electric. He's an electric sheep. <laughs> he's an electric sheep. <laughs> and I want to yell to Rudy. Throw him in the river. Throw yes. him in the river. <laughs> Throw him in the river. I if he changes back, he'll just drown. He's too big. And, and stupid. How deep is the river? How deep is the river? Throw him in. Uh, and make the whole river electric? Yes. I don't have a token of a sheep, but I do have one of a goat. So You know what? Goat was actually what I was thinking in my head. So let's go with goat. Let's, <laughs> he's, he's a goat. <laughs> <laughs> How's that, Wilhelm? Is it a little bit more comforting on the eyes? I, I feel less afraid now. Thank you, Wrath. Welcome. And if I throw him in the water, that means I have to get in the water. And I want to try no, to you just toss him. Yeah, but then he. I want to try to. If I go, let's say at half speed, do you think I could? Uh, I want to try to start to make my way across this uh, this uh, bridge. <laughs> so I want to test the test the bridge. All right, you're gonna go across the bridge. Mm -hmm. Okay, roll a d6. <laughs> <laughs> three all right the bridge is very very rickety make an acrobatics check uh, uh 12 all right you almost slip and fall prone but you don't you're halfway across the bridge i, I get halfway yeah okay okay i'll take it all righty so that's wrath's turn <laughs> Uh, Storm in the river. <laughs> Scribbles continue. You hear you hear more running coming from down the hallway. Look, Rudy, if you can throw a if you can throw a Wilhelm, helm, you can throw a, a goat. That's kind of my logic on this. I mean, I can throw a goat. <laughs> the question is, what will happen to the goat after it Rudy? Dies it's and your turns turn. Back into the rat. Um, Throw the right. goat. All right, I throw the goat. I take the goat. Okay. It's <laughs> and I throw it into okay. the water. So you're going to throw the goat into the water. There's a chance that by throwing it it's going to take falling damage. Okay? And thus de goat. Yep. Okay? So I want you to roll me a d6. 4. 4? Okay. Uh are you just throwing it like I guess. Okay. Uh, so in that case, it takes, it, it takes, uh, I'm going to have you roll one more d6, and that's how much damage it takes. Six. How much, uh, how much health does it have? Four. How much does a ghost have? It has four. So oh. you throw it to the bottom of the water, it takes six points of damage, and d goats back into Mungus <laughs> in the water. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Now we have an electric rat in Wait, the river. Did you, which side of the river did you want to throw him on? Um, where he was initially. That way? That way? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so he hits the water, falls right to the bottom, slams against a rock, the goat cracks its skull, and then transforms back into uh, Mungus the Humongous. Uh, but he, I will say that he is prone in the water. Wilhelm, it is your turn. Uh, is anything going on with like his electrical stuff in the water? Like, is he having a hard time with it? Is there? Do I get the extra? Action we will find from... out at the start of his turn. Okay. Yeah. Do I get the extra action from haste? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, can I cast a spell with that or no? Uh, no. That's actually one of the things that you can't do with the extra action from haste. Okay. Then I <laughs> t toss a hand axe at him. Okay. 15 uh that's technically a miss but i'm gonna give you advantage on the roll uh because you're you're directly above him 17 that is a hit eight damage <laughs> hey not bad every little bit counts how much higher is the bridge above the water 20 feet above okay. the water yeah. And the water is how many feet deep? Uh, the, the water is less than 10 feet deep, right? So, like, a go like 
it's enough that chung that that mungus the humongous chungus can stand up in it and it'll be mm-hmm. like waist high for him but yeah when rudy dropped the the goat it basically went all the way to the bottom and cracked its skull against the yeah bottom, the bottom but he can't water. like reach up and grab us how tall is he um he he is 16 feet tall so he could definitely attack the bottom of the bridge huh. oh <laughs> <laughs> that might be a problem <laughs> and, and he could he could climb up for sure. Uh so Wilhelm, it is your turn. Uh Wilhelm is going to um I'm gonna try to find squeaks or this uh this is that what they said? They said squeaks? Uh they called her scribbles. Scribbles. Mm-hmm. Uh if I run to the edge here, do I see anything? Okay. You see a pretty horrifying room. Not only do you see the fish folk that have fish folk skeletons that have been gutted and tied up against the pillars, you also see a horrible altar to the rat god, covered in human skulls and burning candles and smelling of some kind of foul smelling incense. Um, it is basically a giant effigy with its arms out of something with this titanic um, skull that might have once been a bull that has been chiseled to resemble the skull of a rat uh, that ha- that uh, has these massive ears coming a- out of it and there are two eyes on it that are made of delirium shards uh, that are held in place and there's actually spilled across the floor there are several other pieces of delirium bits of bone fragments and other scrolls and papers and other bits of information that are all scattered about here as if there were several other offerings being altered to this offered to this altar but the rattlings had gathered them all up and ran away with them there is a passageway leading out to the south and you can see that there are several ratty footprints uh, in the dust that are leading out towards the south, but from where you are standing, there is no sign of any other rattlings in this room. Hmm. I have reason to believe that they've gone back the way they've came. We need to quickly cut them off or deal with this humongous mungus chungus. <laughs> um, I guess I'm going to bonus action dash and run back, and then I'm going to fire one crossbow bolt. Okay. At Mungus. Okay. Uh, that's going to be 18 to hit. A hit. For six more damage. Nice. Okay. Uh, it is uh, It is Mungus the Humongous Chuggus' turn. So he is going to stand up from prone and, and reach up to the bridge and and try to tear it down. <laughs> no, the bridge. It'll hold. It'll hold. I have full confidence. Uh Okay, let me see how many hit points this bridge has. So, he's going to punch it basically with his fists to damage it. It'll be fine, guys. I'm not even worried. The first punch does 10 damage to the bridge and Wrath make a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> uh oh uh 19 okay uh you managed to stay on the bridge uh and with um the second punch deals another 10 damage to the bridge one more dexterity saving throw oh 14 all right you are staying there on the bridge why did my steam come up okay and the last one Uh, Because he's still under the effect of haste. Don't break, don't break, don't break. It hits, dealing 15 damage to the bridge, which snaps it. (laughs) Make a dexterity saving throw to to leap leap to the edge. Leap. I reach out my hand. We both do. And I get a four. (laughs) Ah! To the electric. I really thought that he would Electrified water. Not, yeah, I really thought that he wouldn't mix with water. That was that was what I was banking on. <laughs> I'm like so it steady. Makes it stronger. And, you know, like when a like you're about to jump, I was like one, two, and then it like disappears as I'm about mm. to like squat down and jump. Yeah, we're we're like doing the countdown. We're like, come on, Wrath, one, two, yeah, and then Will, you just uh, he he uh, um I I should have specified his electricity is off. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, sorry. So, so having been polymorphed now, the the electricity that was on before he's still hasted, but his electricity has been shuttered by the by the water. Oh. 
Oh. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's okay. great. That's okay. good news. Okay. Yeah, but now the bridge is destroyed and Wrath is in the water. <laughs> <laughs> so I fall out into the water. Uh, yeah, and um, you end up taking six points of bludgeoning damage from striking the water surface. Uh, wow. Yeah, and now a humongous chungus is going to beat you up. Um, we go to the top of the round with Wrath. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> just really quick clarify. Bruce, help me! <laughs> um... The side of this embankment, like, is it like just like a sheer cliff? Is it? Yes, it something is. that I could. Uh, okay. it, you could climb it for sure. Yes, you could absolutely climb it. There's no reason why you couldn't do like climb up it to try to escape. Uh, but that's going to all depend on how good of a climber you think you are. How good of a climber I think I am, or that I actually am. How good of a because <laughs> well, I might I mean, never matter if you believe in, <laughs> if you believe in yourself, you could accomplish wonderful things. But in the, in, uh, in, in in this case, I, I you're going to need a lot of hope. <laughs> I cast guidance on myself and pray uh, to Bruce's deity. No, I'm going to um, I'm just going to look right above. Where, uh, like, these two are peeking over the edge right at me, right? I, yeah. I assume. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just going to thunder step <laughs> to the top of the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> so I just look up and I just, because I, I guess I have to stand up from out of the yeah. water. And then I just snap. So then this, like, ball of electricity appears around me and I kaboom out of the Existence. Nice, nice. Yeah, uh, uh, I get a twelve on my con save. Woo. Uh, so, uh, oh wow, yeah, twenty-two damage. Nice. There's a crackle of thunder that strikes and rudders, and several of the glass bulbs on the back of uh, uh, Mungus the Humongous start bursting from the thunder damage as you teleport back up to the top. And so uh, as I land, I, I scurry behind uh, Rudy and Wilhelm and, and just kind of like arms on my legs and just like sort of like heaving <laughs> water. <gasps> it's big it's big it's big <laughs> very it's good it's not a goat anymore um, in the distance scribbles and the rattlings continue to run Rudy it is your turn am I technically in in range of it uh, yes actually with, with his size and reach um, you can attack, like, you could leap on top of him from here or even attack him from here, but he could also attack you from here. Mm. Did he attack the bridge recklessly? <laughs> he did attack the bridge rec recklessly. Ooh, okay, so I'm then just gonna battle axe his face. Um, and I, with the haste, I get an additional action attack, but only one weapon attack. So I think I can hit him four times. Nice. With advantage. Oh, yeah. Ooh, uh, <laughs> 27 to hit. Nice. Uh, for 10 damage. Okay. Great! Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> okay. Um, uh, so, sorry. That is 13 plus... Two, so 15 damage. Okay, so 25 so far. That leaves him bloodied. He Two more to him. Uh, 24 to hit. It's a hit. For 13 damage. Nice. And the last one is... Uh, 21 to hit. Also a hit. Nine damage. The brutal flurry of axes crash into Chungus's flesh. Screaming with white-hot rage, he uh, begins putting his fist to pull himself up the, uh, the, the 
cavern wall to attack you and uh, Wilhelm. Anything else you want to do? Um, you know what? If I die, y'all can give me a healing potion. I'll stay where I am. Okay. <laughs> Wilhelm, it is your turn. Um, so Wilhelm, knowing he, I, I think he knows that they're going for that other passage and he needs to cut off these rats, but he also wants to take care of Mungus. So seeing an opportunity, what he's going to attempt to do, Wilhelm runs and leaps on to Chungus. Okay. And what he's hoping to do is leap on, stab him, and then leap off to the other side of the bridge. <laughs> Alrighty. So, uh, make an acrobatics check. All right. Uh, that is going to be 19. That's enough to uh, stepping stone off of him, and you can stab him. <laughs> all right. So you've got advantage because he's been reckless and everything. Yeah. Yes. Uh, that'll also be a 19 to hit. Also a hit. And I'm going to sneak attack him. Twenty-three damage. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Um, you stab deeply, and he howls out, and a look appears in his face as he's turning the power back on in the water. Uh, I, I, I want to leap off to the other side, and I'm going to uh, turn and fire a crossbow at. As he's charging up, I like look for like. It, there's like these bulbs on him and I'm looking for the one that looks like it's charging up and I'm going to fire my crossbow right at it. Okay. Oh, I guess I still have uh, yep. advantage. 24 to hit. It's a hit. Or six damage. But not quite enough. No. Uh... I turn to the other two and I'm like, we need to cut off the ratlings. And I disappear. How far <laughs> did I go? That was 25. So really, I only st I start running down the corridor. Okay. Good luck, Wilhelm. Clamoring in, in the, the pit, he grabs, he reaches inside his own rib cage, pulls out his heart, which is covered in all of these wires and bulbs and it's pumping and pumping and pulping and all of this electrical energy comes out of it and it releases a destructive wave spell you can all make constitution saving throws oh, oh no, no. <laughs> 22 is he, a, is he a bomb he is a bomb <laughs> uh i got a 16 I got a five so my back to run did not help me so wilhelm uh you fail um you're no, lucky though sometimes. what did you get wrath wait yes luck. uh 16 16 okay that's success rudy oh. 22 22 that's success wilhelm uh my luck point got me a whopping 11 that's a failure so <laughs> wilhelm Sorry, Will you uh... are going to take a grand total of 20 necrotic damage and 19 uh thunder damage I will half the necrotic damage from. Wait, is it from an attack? I can, or is it it's, only? It's a Constitution saving throw. Right. It's not a. Cool. Good. Good. Good talk. Uh, Rudy, <laughs> you. Uh, uh, so Rudy, you take. It's thirty-nine damage total, which is halved because you made your save. So that is a grand total of uh, basically nineteen damage. Wrath, you made your save. The necrotic damage is halved because you resisted. So you only take five necrotic damage, and then you take mm -hmm. ten uh, thunder damage. I oh, and mine was twenty and nineteen. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, good. That's exactly how many hit points I have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're both done. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Uh, and Mungus the Humongous takes all the damage himself, <laughs> and explodes in a pile of shrapnel and gore. <laughs> So oh. I imagine that I'm on one side of the bridge, Rudy's on the other, and as he explodes, like I'm turning to try to cut these rattlings off, and I just take the explosion in the back and fly like headfirst into the wall 
Rudy just gets hit with all of this rat shrapnel <laughs> and takes it all for wrath. Yeah. It's yeah. Like- you know like the the shadow like, yeah. behind the- <laughs> I'm not that dead uh, and also make a saving throw for Bruce <laughs> oh Whoa. no I need him well, I, I mean I uh, well he got a one so Bruce is blown away too <laughs> Bruce is just like Wah. he tries to open his mouth and accept the <laughs> yeah so yeah <laughs> oh man uh, Rath, it's your turn. <laughs> you just stand and gasp. What? You have to step in front and save it, everyone, aren't I? <laughs> I'm just ever so calmly leaning down. And and giving Rudy one of her potions as I look over at Wilhelm's <laughs> broken body and <laughs> and just trying to figure out where it all went wrong. He was a goat <laughs> moments ago. He was a goat. What happened? This we had this under control. more like G O A T, am I right? Greatest he was of the all time. <laughs> he was, he the, was the goat. He was the greatest chungus of all time. <laughs> Um, so I, I, yeah, I'm going to give Rudy one of her, uh, greater healing potions and, um, and I literally and just gonna... set up like, <gasps> did you do it? <laughs> You're still under and the effects of the hay spell too, Rudy, because the potion I'm, is I'm, shaking. I'm looking across at, at, at Wilhelm trying to figure out how to get across this bridge. Um, do you need my help? <laughs> <laughs> I just grab you and I toss you over. <laughs> I, well, you could also jump, Rudy. I mean, um, I guess I could. And, I could jump. Okay, I jump. And, and if you're gonna do that, I then I'm gonna. I'm just gonna try to speed down the hallway, chasing after the rattlings. Cool. It's gonna kind be of a, picking up where Wilhelm left off. So, Rudy, you got definitely got enough to leap across with your haste and give Wilhelm another potion. So, you guys managed to race all the death saves on that one with the way the initiative order w- shook out. <laughs> so, you feed me one of my potions, I assume. Yep. Nice. <laughs> all right. Um, as you and from there, as you race back around the corner, you come to an intersection following down the passageway that is filled with debris heading to the west and 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 connecting back to that main room with all the rattlings the whole place is deserted and that is where we're going to take our break ah. 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 wow <laughs> rattlings eh Alrighty. well with that we will just take a moment to uh have uh, have a snack refill on the coffee and soda and we will see you all in just a couple minutes stay tuned folks and we are back from our short rest we have all finished our consumables drank our healing potions and we are ready to play some more D. I've got my my, my in- trusty nectar oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, i'm the boring one drinking water if you're enjoying the stream and you want to help support our work, please check us out on Patreon. You can find out how by following the links in the description below or at patreon.com slash dungeon underscore dudes. We also have a phenomenal Discord community, which is exclusive for our patrons. If you do join us on Patreon, make sure to jump into our Discord, where you can chat with all of us about all sorts of nerdy topics. And as well, you get to uh, take part in a monthly writer's room where you get to work with Monty and I for future scripts for the show. And you can also submit questions for our monthly Q&As that we're going to be doing. Um, our next Q&A is streaming this Thursday. That's, um, that's yeah, two days from now. <laughs> and we have a special guest uh, on this month's stream. We are going to be... Uh, hosting the stream with Brendan Lee Mulligan from Dimension 20. And we're going to be answering some questions from the community regarding uh, role-playing characters. So 
join us there. And if you're part of our Patreon or you're jumping on the Patreon in the next couple of days, make sure to jump on the Discord, get those questions in and chat with us soon. Of course, don't forget to look at the links below for our Teespring store. We can find all of your favorite Dungeon Dudes t-shirts, including way bigger than Ducks, Dusk Wardens, as well as Yes, 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 classic throwback to the Rattlings. Uh, or you can check out bit.ly slash Dungeon Dudes merch. And in our game tonight, we use a variety of incredible assets produced by talented artists. They have graciously given us permission to use these assets in our stream games, but you can use them at your table too. So we encourage you to check out and support these amazing creators. Uh, we got Roll20 with the Virtual Tabletop, Battle, battle Maps by Alex Vendar of, two, of Neutral Party, and Ross McConnell of Two Minute Tabletop, Custom Maps created by uh, using Dungeon Fog and Wonder Draft, Player Character Artwork by Jeremy Cole, NPC Artwork, uh, token artwork by Matthias Bourbon, Monster Token Artwork from the D D and D Five E Monster Manual and other uh, the source books, spell effects tokens by Gabriel Picard, and music by Tabletop Audio. Oh my gosh, there's so many things! So please check them out and support them. Yes, we get a lot of questions, surprisingly, about all those sources. So please very carefully listen to Joe if you're wondering what we're using to play or where all our maps come from, because it's all all there. Uh, and you can uh, check that all out. It's all really useful stuff. And I got to say, playing D&D online is not too bad. It, it's definitely better than a kick in the head uh, once you get the hang of it. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's better I than a Chungus dimension explosion. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Well, with that, let us return back to the shadows. So, um, you guys are all in a lot of pain right now. Um, as we can see here on our little map. Um, so. Wilhelm and you're separated by the bridge right now uh, and the wreckage and shrapnel and gory remains of uh, Mungus the humongous Chungus the massive rattling mutant the massive giant rattling uh, mm -hmm. that had been augmented with some sort of arcane contraptions um, Wrath you are on one side and Rudy you are on the other um, not much time has passed because uh, you were very quickly fed each other some healing potions um, and so far, um, Wrath, you've seen that there's a passage and an intersection down over this way um, that leads off to the west and connects back to the previous rattling nest chamber. Um, but which direction uh, your quarry has gone and where they are, don't know. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make my way down towards where the old nest was um, as quickly as I can, uh, but I'm also going to disguise self as another rattling, ooh, nice. um, in case I come across uh, this uh, band of uh, strays. Okay, as you head down in that direction. Uh, Rudy and Wilhelm, which way are you guys going to go? I wanted to make my way back towards the first bridge that we saw uh, in hopes, and I'm, I'm running. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping to cut them off because my assumption is that, that we knew that there was a back entrance to that first camp. So my assumption when I saw the corridor that they had gone down was that it might loop back around here. So I'm running in hopes of cutting them off. Okay. As the two of you run back around in this direction, uh, you are caught by another sight. There is a distraught rattling that is carrying what little you didn't leave behind from the room earlier. Um, it looks rather d distraught and like it was expecting to be bringing back a lot more. And it screams as, as, as it sees the pair, the pair of you. Um, I, I, I train my crossbow on it, and I, and I say... I run and, like, grab it's like, scruff. <laughs> okay. And I hold it up. Make an athletics check to grab it. Nice. <laughs> 28. Okay. You are grabbing it by its scruff. It, it looks to be a, a little uh, um, uh, female uh, rattling, um, and... 
she says uh she she's very very quite tiny not much bigger than the only slightly bigger than the other one that you saw earlier with the with the glasses uh and she's just a brown fur little rattling with some rags and uh, ragged clothing and it looks like she might have a wand or at least a scroll or something on it and she, she kind of looks ah, please please do not kill me please 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 do not kill me please 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 Where's your leader, the one with the glasses? Oh, she go, she go, she tell me go get things from her room, but it all gone. Where would she have gone? <laughs> if you do not tell us, Rudy will cut your head off. Make it oh, I wouldn't do that to this cute little thing. Rudy. And I start to press it to take the tears away. Like, all right. <laughs> the tears continue to, to 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 fall. Ah, good cop, bad cop. I see. <laughs> Tell us where your leader is, or I will Thanks. stab you. Hey, Wilhelm, what a way to, to treat this little rattlin. Listen, hun. Can you just tell us, like, where would they have gone? Because we want to get you back to your family. Obviously. It was just the Ratlins that were causing us some trouble that we were hurting. Not a cute little thing like you. Oh. Rudy, I'm confused. <laughs> the, the... And I'm like... <laughs> Ru wait, what is that? Wait. The the Ratling says, Oh, well, they told tell me to take all the things and go hide in hole until they come back. Which hole? She she, she gestures, perhaps to the 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 spiked hole around the corner. Mm. Where would they have ran to? They plan to come back, but is there a hiding spot nearby that they might go oh, to hang out? In? Oh no 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 no! Scribbles has plan for this. Scribbles have plan for whenever bad things come, if manlings come, if humans come to stab us, she say just run, 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 hide, hide, hide. She say humans usually quite lazy, and once they clear out a dungeon, they never come back to trek it out again. She say mm. adventurers very stupid in this regard. They ne they generally never they generally just assume that once they leave dungeon. Monsters not come back to it, and they just leave it. And so she just say, "Go hide, come back tomorrow, and we probably be fine." She, she is an intelligent rat. It's it very seems. smart. Yeah, that's it's very smart. That is smart. <laughs> um, so what you're saying is, y'all gonna come back here to keep this as your home. Oh yes, it's very cozy. You agree? Yes, yes, yes. You've done a great job. I have very, very nice nest, but unfortunately, strange fiery blast and horrible, horrible cat tongues destroy my bed. Oh no! That, well, that's, <laughs> that's so sad, darling. So sorry about that. Uh, Do you guys well, want to set up camp? You know what? I I think it would not be the worst idea to to set up camp. Do some resting. We can even help you. A uh, little rattling to make an even better nest than before. Oh, really? You help us? Well, yes, I mean, yes, yes. This beautiful cow hide right here, and I mean, no one's. You're the only one left. So you gotta get first dibs. Oh no, 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 no! Scribbles be very angry if I take her rug. All right. I say we uh we camp out in Scribbles' quarters and wait for her return. You wait for her? Yes, we uh need to have a word with her. A word? We, we see that she is such an intelligent rattling. We have some questions about all the things, the amazing things she's done here. It's just we got off on the oh. wrong foot. And uh, we weren't initially coming in to kill y'all, but... I mean... We got attacked, so, you know, it's just instinct of us humans, you know? Us, us as man the, and woman folk. As, as Where did the, Wrath go? <laughs> I'm, I'm like, Wilhelm's, like, looking around. As, as, as you say that, Wrath, what are you going to do? <laughs> so I'm running down this hallway as a Rattling. Yeah. Um, uh, I've, I'm donning a different Rattling look. Okay. Uh, than the previous one. I'm kind of, again, doing like a mishmash of what I've seen so far. Um, just in case, because I have a feel they, they might have caught on. And I want to kind of run down into here, because I remember there was some that ran out of the room when I first fireballed it. Mm -hmm. They escaped. 
but this just leads back into the original room right well what you can see though is here right mm. there it it looks like the Rattlings had a barricade set up here that led into a tunnel. And actually from this tunnel, it opens back up into the sewer passages. So if you imagine the main sewer lines, this there, as you, as you can see over here, there's a sewer line on this side, but then there's another parallel sewer line on the other side. And so this whole layer is basically spanning between two sewer lines. So Looking around, make an investigation check. Sixteen. Looking around as you as you study the ground, there's a lot of rattling footprints around here. Too many to count, and but the only thing that you seem to, you can discern is that well, there's regular foot traffic that comes from and beyond. It looks like the rattling stopped here, a large group of them, and then that group split up with some of the rattlings going down the, 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 the tunnel this way and some of the other rattlings going back in and back out again, uh, back, back the other direction. So, so mm. it it's, looks like they might have split up and gone in different directions. This barricade, is it easy to get through uh, it's been, for my size? It's been closed. So the the barricade has been opened back up again so that people could, so that rattlings could move through it. It's not in its like defensive positioning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start to, uh, I want to start to make my way through the barricade. Okay. To try to see if they're again, like. The, the path is completely clear. Mm -hmm. From the barricade, it, it snakes back around uh, into a uh, into a larger into another sewer tunnel. And so, and and a, even a quick glance in the sewer tunnel, it doesn't appear to be a rattling in sight, is there? Uh, the or are they? Can I hear them? Like from the edge of your dark vision and looking down in the mud, the sewer tunnel opens up and goes to the north and south again, and you can see in the mud and the droppings that the rattlings got to the sewer tunnel and then they split up again into even smaller groups. So the rattlings have left, they split, then they split again, um, and, uh, and they've split into smaller and smaller groups all heading in different directions, not in one direction. Uh, I uh, sadly am going to... Uh... <laughs> make my way back into the the big chamber and start to look around the big chamber for any sort of hiding spots um like if is there any if there's any chance that they're like hiding in like whatever remains the nests have been destroyed in fact looking through it it looks like some of the nests have been ransacked and the rattlings have taken some of the wet the the weapons and other belongings that that remain here so i'm just going to kind of like sulkenly just kind of walk through here and just kind of reminisce about a simpler time when it was all being eaten by bruce <laughs> i miss him i miss him just kind of kick over things like hands in my pockets and that, that's like when you hear on. the screaming of the rattling coming from the other, <laughs> other, other direction and, and the sobbing noise and you're, you're able to rejoin the rest of the group just as wilhelm mentions where is wrath I look over and I see this rattling walking towards me, and I and I pull my crossbow and I point it at Raph. And I no 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 no. I mean I mean no. Don't hurt. I'm. It's me. Is this a rattling trick? I'll 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 shed my disguise. Is this still a rattling trick? I lost the path. There's another entrance to the sewer hmm. on the other side. Well, They're long gone by now. It sounds like they might be returning, and I just so happen to have a few things in my bag that might help us. I have string and a bell. I can make some oh. sort of oh, sound. Oh, that's it? <laughs> yeah, yes, that was it. <laughs> See, I figure if they return, we could set up camp in uh, one of the areas here. I, I'm I think that we might be safe in the uh, the the, the well-furnished bedroom. I'm going to call it well-furnished um, by rattling standards. 
and perhaps we can rig some sort of string and bell sound trap to alert us when the rattlings return. And then we, and I kind of look over at the rattling that we're holding, talk to them. What you want to talk to them about? Their favorite color. It seemed like your favorite language is stabbing. (laughs) You know, that's really sad to think that that's the way I come off, and I apologize. No, he's right. Um, (laughs) Wilhelm, if your plan is going to work, this thing cannot live. Oh, please don't. Please don't kill me. Please but not live, he just means I like being not alive. to go away from here. You're going to stay with us. It's so nice to be alive. I like to eat, 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 eat. I just small rat. I just small rat. I only kill like two, maybe three humans. Wrath, you're right. We have a job to do. This creature is a pest and a vermin. And you're rat. Right. It's true. But if it may cooperate, we may find other uses for it. You there, Rattling, what is that shrine? Oh. Who, who uses it? Oh, that, that shrine? That rat god, yes, yes, yes. That great rat god that tells us all good things going to happen to us very soon. Yes, yes, yes. Have you talked to this rat god? Oh, no, 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 no. Scribbles use her magic. Talk to rat god. Yes, yes, yes. She talked mm. to rat god every day. Sometimes she talked to rat god and starts screaming, and and it kind of scary. But other days she talked to rat god, and she tells us that all things that rat god like. Like, rat god like, like the color red. Rat god say best way to cook humans is eat them raw. Rat God likes squishing butterflies. Rat God not like books, except books that tell other rattlings about magic. Rat God tell her where to find books about magic. She tell him stab purple men's, and then she find books and read, read, read. Rat God teach her how to read. Yes, yes, yes. No good can come from conversing with monsters. She talked she talked to Rat God every day. Rat God must she must be Rat God's best friend. All other rats jealous. So you stab the, the purple ones to get the books. Oh yes, yes, yes. She she say that sometimes you see you see humans and they wear purple and you find them and you stab, 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 stab and take them take their books. Like- like him, and I point to Wrath. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Hmm, interesting. Hmm. So Rattlings are uh, targeting the Amethyst Academy. Well, that proves even more concerning and more of a reason why we need to put a stop to this um, pest problem in Dransmond. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh. Now, what was your name, darling? Don't ask it its name. That'll make it harder to kill. Oh, my name's Sweet Tooth. Oh, good <laughs> lord. Sweet That's Tooth. Be- yes, yes, yes. It's because I like stealing muff- muffins from children. Yes, yes, yes. I steal the muffin, and then I eat the baby. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Now, yep. it's, yeah. now it's now <laughs> it's now we're good. Go. Um, yep. Interesting. Um, can, you, can you tell us anything about... Um, what what kind of magic is is done here that the rats are learning? Oh, o- only only scribbles know the magic. Only scribbles know the magic. Scribbles mm-hmm. learn from her mom. Yes, yes, yes. Scribbles learn magic from her mom. Scritches, mom? scritches, scritches, scribbles, 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 and and you said she had a wand in her hand. Uh. When you saw Scribbles earlier, yes. Okay. Or did this rat did? have her? She, did she, she have her one? Yeah, yeah, she's like, yes, yes, yes. I Scribbles think maybe I know I learned some, but I'm not any good. Mm, it's very dangerous, and I grab the wand away and hand it to Wrath as I've got her by the scruff. I'm like, Wrath, take this. 
Yes. Um, I not well, learned to I not learned to read yet, so I not know. I she scribbles say I need learn read first. Uh, mm. But you're sure that scribbles is going to return here? Oh, scribbles very very smart. She not return if it not safe. How would she know if it wasn't safe? Scribbles very smart. Does she have surveillance? Does she? Does she Would have she eyes? Be... <laughs> sometime, sometime, scribbles. Sometimes scribbles take. She had mirror, shiny mirror. Yes, yes, yes. Sometimes she take mirror and she look in mirror and she see things. Yes, yes, yes. She see places far away. Yes, yes, yes. That sounds magical, Wrath. Uh, what do you know about mirrors that see places? Do you have a spell for summon seeing mirror? Well, it's no string and bell combo, uh, but Wrath, uh, make it it... Our, you can make an Arcana check. <laughs> I, that hurt. <laughs> I got a three. I've uh, I've definitely looked into mirrors before and seen myself. <laughs> Uh, so what you're saying is my string and bell is still proving to be the best and most. These rats with their well thought out option. They're contacting this deity, whatever this other creature is. Their magic stealing from the academy. They could have untold abilities to see into the future. Um, not to mention the fact that they have a keen sense of smell. They could likely smell us from a very far away place there's laying some kind of trap will have to be we may just have to destroy what we can and maybe come back we have to get this job done before morning that was the instructions that we were given but the the rats all scattered they well then if they've scattered then we can continue the chase you young thing sweet tooth <gasps> Where else do rats hide? Oh, we very good at hiding. Yes, 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 yes. We find all sorts of hidey holes. Sometimes we dig, 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 and then we hide, and we just find food. And sometimes we just sleep. One time, I find hiding spot. I stay there two weeks. I only come out because I hungry. And then I come back, and all my friends go, "Where were you, sweet tooth?" And I was like, "I found good hold. Hold. I, I, I hide there. I sleep. Yes, yes, yes." Sweet tooth. Rattlings have exceptionally good sense of smell, yes? Oh, yes, yes, yes. We smell the food. We smell the good can, food. Can you distinctly tell the smell of scribbles from the rest of the rats? That one way we know, but not for, but only, uh, only quite close. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. So you wouldn't be able to help us for your life. You wouldn't be able to help us track down scribbles. Track down scribbles? You, you want to find where she's hiding? Yes. Mm -hmm. But scribbles such a good hider. That is why you are going to prove that you can be as powerful as scribbles. You might not be able to read, but if you can find her when she's hiding, that makes you the hide and seek champion. Oh. But if. But Scribbles try to hide from you. Well, we also are hoping to win this game of hide and seek, and then you become the leader. She also don't know that we're just, we just want to talk to Scribbles, of course. We would never do anything. Unfortunately, again, like I said, we were just being attacked and we were reacting. But we just want to talk to Scribbles. Rudy, is that true? I, I... <laughs> yeah, make a deception check there, Rudy. I feel like Wilhelm is confused and doesn't understand if we're lying or telling the truth. 16. S uh, Scribbles? Uh, Sweet Tooth looks like she buys it. Uh, she she say, Oh, I... That seems strange. Humans not want talk rattlings ever before. Most other humans, well, we... We eat them. Oh, we I not mo We... I, you f this first time I ever talked to humans... Well, do yes. we look like regular humans to you? What does regular humans look like? I not I really point, know. I point at Wrath. I, I, I have to say, all you humans so ugly, you all look same to me. Mm. Uh, I mean, he is not a human. What are you? 
You're blue. That's not important. Okay. If how you how you creature, not tell how you not tell other humans apart if you can't <laughs> smell each other if you can't touch each other's whiskers if you can't see the different sizes in your noses and your it all of you look the same. I do get many a human manlins confused. You are right. I can never tell the difference between these two, but that might be because of the depth perception. <laughs> um, well, Sweet Tooth, are you up for a game of hide and seek? You want me to help you try find find scribbles? Well, it's either that or you die, so hmm, take your choice. How you promised me I not die? I mean, have we lied to you yet? I not know. Sweet Tooth, it is imperative that you help us as we are going to go talk to dun 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 how I know the rat god how I not know you just trying to trick me and you're going to stab 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 me after I give you what you want hmm? how you know how I, I not don't know? have an answer for that Rudy bring sweet tooth and uh, I want to uh, go to the shrine, the shrine of the of the rat god. Okay. All right. Uh, um, I, we, along. Yeah. We and, follow. I like where then, this is going. Um, Sweet tooth. The reason you need to find scribbles is because for the first time, you will. You can talk to the rat god, and he will command you to do his bidding. Ask the rat god what you should do. You want me to ask? But I not know the spell. I not know the magic to talk to rat god. I will help you. You can do this. So tooth. what are you what are you gonna try to do? I'm gonna try to <laughs> talk into her mind and, and 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 attempt to deceive her into thinking that it's the rat god telling her to find scribbles. Okay. <laughs> By giving her the are you using the scroll? But you're not no, actually gonna no. cast the spell. You just wanna no, try to no, trick her. No. Okay. I'll do a bunch of uh um, press the digitation. <laughs> yeah, like whoosh. And then, uh, <laughs> this is manling magic. Sweet tooth. Okay. I have watched you for so well, long. Let's just pay, paint a picture here, okay? So you're going to take sweet you take sweet tooth to the shrine of the rat god. Glows and bristles with malevolence. The, the skull of the rat and the kind of the, the robes all perched out like a scarecrow looking down with the skull and the delirium eyes looking down. You bring her in front, front of it. The group of you that surround it. You give her the scroll. And I you give her a piece of paper with uh, <laughs> some some crude <laughs> markings that maybe she would slightly understand. Okay. And then you are going to use some magic like prestidigitation to like make some sparks and things flash yeah, yeah I'm behind so, you and i'm like so, so yeah so okay. we have rudy in the back creating like smoke and, and sparks okay <laughs> uh, um wilhelm do you want to help out with this somehow i'm terrified i think this is all really happening i have no idea wilhelm is looking around like no no Wilhelm, Wilhelm. No. no it's okay Wilhelm. <laughs> We have to convince Sweet Tooth to find scribbles. Wilhelm drops to his knees and is like, Rat God, <laughs> I bow to you. I bow to thee, Rat God. I, is, I'm sorry. We have to table this conversation. <laughs> I'm, I, have, I have forsaken you. Rat God. Like, yes, yeah, more, more. So more. inadvertently, Wilhelm is helping because he's, <laughs> he's, he's really selling this terrifying visage of of Rat God, but he actually he doesn't know that that Wrath and Rudy are casting spells. He thinks that the statue is coming alive, and then thaumaturgy. When... Yeah, okay. the, we we have everything. Uh, like the eyes are glowing. Um, 
things are pulsating. There's an aura behind it. Oh, okay. Oh, so I'm going to have you all make a deception check. <laughs> but I don't think I'm lying. <laughs> okay, fine. So I'm not... five, five. I mean, I get an 11, but I also, I have no uh, idea that I'm lying. And I have a 21. And Rudy? Oh, I got a five. Okay. It's a moderately convincing display right now. Um, and with all of you working together, it seems like she's buying it. Um, and she goes, you mean I do this? I doing this? Rat God? Rat God? You talk to me? Why? Why Sweet truth. There is only you left now. You must find Scribbles. Take the manlings to Scribbles Rat God. so that she can eat them. Rat God, I have I have question. I Do have... not tell the manlings what you have planned for them. They need not know. Rat God, I have question. Yes. I have question. Sweet tooth. You may ask one question. What is meaning of life? To eat manlings. Oh. And if not manlings, then to eat fish things. Oh. And if not that, then to find the shiny. Oh. <laughs> okay, Rat God. Okay, Rat God. I take them. I take them to... I, I, I help them find scribbles. And you will eat them when you find scribbles. Oh, yes, yes, but yes. But do not tell them. Oh. They must not know this is your secret. This is your plan. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Rat God, speak to me. You you not here, though, no? I am terrified of this. <laughs> <laughs> why is the Rat God, why did we bring her here? It's talking to her. I, it's, what if... <laughs> What if it told her to kill us? What Look, we had to try something, Wilhelm. We have no other options. We she, she, must she, find Scribbles. She say, no, 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 not worry. Not worry. Rat God say, you nice humans, and definitely not to eat you. Oh. Sounds. Oh, <laughs> she thank, is lying. Unbending. Thank goodness. <laughs> wow. Raph, Raph, I'm so relieved. Raph, I'm relieved. Oh. Uh, sweet tooth, you have been chosen for this. This is why I believe you have lived this long. This is why we found you. Okay. Will you take us to try to find scribbles? Yes, yes, yes. I show you the way. Yes, yes, yes. Are there candles around the, the Red yep. God statue? Okay. I want to use press digitation to like snuff out all the candles. <laughs> like the oh. conversation is done. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not. I'm like the um, um, sweet tooth looking at Wilhelm. I'm like, did you not see me do the? <laughs> I'm sorry. I wasn't. What I was focused on the scary statue that we're standing in front of. Um. Is there uh, uh, among the altar? Is there anything like? Did they just did they grab everything of significance and just kind of run off? Uh, there, th for the most part, yes. There's a few skulls and candles remaining behind, but they took most of everything else. Okay. Um, my friends, do you need time to recuperate from your injuries? I. Do not know if we have the capacity to wait, although I am quite drained. I mean, I think we need to go. I don't think there's time. I think it's. Uh, I've got I think one it's more. go now. I mean, if the Rat God is telling us that it's time to go, then I guess we have to listen to the. I can't believe the Rat God is helping us. Uh, Wrath, Rudy, I... it's incredible. It's, we, there's we some mysteries this... that go beyond oh. our comprehension. Yes, yes, yes. Though, though the the <clears throat> oh, you you know there used to be story. Yes, 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 of three ghosts that used to help Rat Prince. Yes, yes, yes. Rat Prince, great hero of Ratlings. Yes, yes, yes. He gone now, but they say he come back. Yes, yes, yes. Hmm. And Rat Prince, Rat Prince, he he help Manlings. 
manlings not know that they just stupid. You probably stupid too. Mm. People oh. have thought so from time to time. I hope to, you know, show them different, but mm. who knows? Rat God, very, very smart. Humans not outsmart Rat God. No, 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 mm. no, 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 no. Never. Of course not. It's a god. Well, how could manlings outsmart a god, right? That's why we have yes, to yes, listen yes. to if, it. If, if, if Rat God say help you, then it, it, my, my, I must help. Pro probably Rat God planning awful, horrible death for you. Very sorry to say. Rat God, tell me, Rat God tell me not stab you, but probably bad thing happened to you soon. Yes, yes, yes. Hmm. I noted. I'm like, <laughs> in my, like oh, you little... <laughs> well, I suppose we... We should follow you then, uh, Sweet Tooth, and you can lead us oh. to Scribbles. Yes, 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 I tell you. I got, uh... Not tell, do not tell this to Scribbles. She has very stinky farts. We smell them. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so does Rath, oh. don't worry. Excuse you? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me? Follow, follow. Yes, yes, yes. She go this way. I see her. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, as as we start following, I pull Wrath back a few steps, and I look at him, and I go, "Are you sure we can trust this Rat God and this this Sweet Tooth? I mean, how did you know the Rat God would speak to her?" Wilhelm, I read the scroll. I understand magic. You have to trust me. This is just <laughs> how things work. We must follow rule number thirty eight. Probably follow uh, your heart. <laughs> Be confident and humble at the same time? You can be. Sometimes you can be. And I just walk away. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I, I stand there, like, thinking for a second, and I'm like, confident and humble. Wilhelm! Ah. <laughs> um, I have one greater healing potion left. Same. I, I'm Should we just do it? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I have two left. I'm gonna have another one. Bottoms up. Taking my last one. How many potions do you have between the rest of y'all? Actually, um, what I'll do is I'll save the greater and I'll drink a few of the lower ones. Because I don't think we're gonna have a chance to even short rest. I'm out, I'm out of spell slots. I'm out of everything. I'm out of. Uh... I'm out of luck points. Well. And I'm all right out of bubble gum. All right. So, with that, um, I will grab the three of you and we will bring us back to the sewers. Two of those. Plan is foolproof. Couldn't go wrong. <laughs> I mean, the yeah, plan right? is we. Just kill a bunch of ratlings. Pretty much, eh? I mean, that's what uh, River told us to do. Yeah. We're and just we're following, just following She'd be orders. mad if we came back for another bath. <laughs> <laughs> we probably. come back, we just go and sit down at the bath. Just give me a minute. <laughs> a minute. <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> okay. So you set out in, back into the sewers of Dransmond. Uh, and let's see here. There we go. Dust our camera a little bit here. Um, so there we are. Might need to zoom out a little bit there, but, but we'll see. So you, are, um, so you gather yourselves, you knock back those potions. As you do so, um, the belongings that you stole from Scribbles' room. Where are they? I have gold and the gem. I have the idol to the rat prince, uh, as far as I know, and then, like, the, the little, like, I think it's the rat prince, um, uh, with the gem eyes, and then I also have all the documents. Yeah, as you travel, um, Sweet Tooth sees the documents in your backpack. And she tr she turns and she says, "Those scribbles is I sent to go get those. Very good, you have them. Oh, very good, you have them. Yes, yes, yes. If you have them, maybe she not kill you when we when she see you. Do you I think mean, this might help our chances, Sweet Tooth. We're just returning them to the rightful owner. 
me find out. Come this way, this way. Yes, 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 yes. And so she leads you through the sewers and she starts to, to smell or uh, smell around. Um, and she looks, uh, look, looks around at, at, um, at things and smells the, the, the prints and everything and say, Oh yes, yes, yes. There are not many of us left. It, it, we, we figure, but we all go in different directions. Usually no more than one, one or two. So it not too hard. There are only after me, there are only eight of us left. Hmm. You may not be able to read, but you sure know numbers. Oh yes, yes, yes. I can count. <laughs> uh oh. Very good. Um well, if you can lead us in the right direction to uh scrib scribbles, then you're doing right by the rat god. It this way. Yes, yes, yes. We come. <laughs> and and she points. Oh yes. Scribble stop, and she points at a small pile uh, in of rat droppings in the corner. That her, I know that smell. I know that smell. She wants to make a sandwich for it for me. It' not nice. That's horrible. I am traumatized. <laughs> we follow. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. oh, oh, this way, this way, must be her favorite way. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I think I know where she's going. Yes, yes, yes. Come, 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 come. Where is she going, sweet tooth? Come, 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 come. Follow, follow, follow. She been going. Look at Matt, at 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 humans' boats. Yes, yes, yes. The big boats. Yes, 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 yes. She's mm -hmm. trying to pick one that she want. Want which one be her favorite? Yes, 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 yes. She find one. Yes, yes, yes. Other rats in there. Yes, 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 yes. She help them grow into ratlings. Yes, 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 yes. Mm. They all like her, and very soon we go kill the manlings in the boat. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, mm. yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question. Now that I know a lot of time has passed, have we gotten to the part where River is going to contact us? Did she say she was going to send us at some point? You haven't taken a rest. Um, so because you haven't taken a short rest at all, um, let's, uh, let's find out how many hours have passed. So, so really only about two hours have passed. So she'll probably be contacting you about half an hour from now. I'm just th thinking this and, uh, a lot of my, I'm just going to tell these, uh, Wilhelm and Rudy as we're kind of walking along, I'll just in your head, Ru um, River should contact us soon. We should try to tell her where we are headed, if we know, so that maybe she can meet us there and help us deal with whatever's remaining. I feel like River's not the type to get, <laughs> get in on this. Tell me about it. <laughs> She's <laughs> not the one walking around in sewers. Okay. Um, so what are you, are you going to wait to contact River or no, just, just trying to keep a mental note okay. of, uh, when she might reach out to us. Okay. You move through the, um, the sewers following the trail. It's a bit of a winding path, but before long, uh, the, the sewer pathway does end in a drainage pipe that opens out into a part of the heart and it it goes off into like a not a really so much a drainage pipe so much as it is just a small uh water intake on the harbor they don't they don't let the they don't really let the water the sewage drain into the harbor directly it carries it out and away from the city so while there's some parts that bring things in that bring the refuse water from the harbor it leads out to here um and then the it is the dead of night at this at this point. Um, the harbor is almost entirely deserted, but where you are are is actually not the big part of where the big shipping is. These are all the little fishing boats, like just the the regular folks that go out on their own. Um, the smaller like 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 there's a few that are like cog ships, but most of these are are basic small fishing boats that maybe would be crewed or by two or three people that are parked here. And so um, I'll bring you out. Let's, uh, let's 
Um, and I'll have you all roll me a d6 as we get uh, get this set. Six. Four. Three. Okay. I don't know why I felt like saying it, but I was like, I haven't rolled a one in a while. And I'm just glad I said I it after. I also thought that. <laughs> and I just had to say it, though, because we're due. Yeah, I, we are due. It's been like two sessions of no ones. Okay. I want to keep... I like the ones. Uh, yeah, we, we need to get some ones back in this rotation. I'm trying. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Just like my dice doesn't fail me until I actually have to make a dex saving throw. That's we just like need really to keep our important. hit points for now. Yeah, okay. no kidding. It's the only thing we have going for us at the moment. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty out of. Uh... Actually, I do have my pearl of power. And once, uh, once dawn happens, I might have a chance to get one spell slot back. Okay. I'm looking towards the the sunrise. If your rings, did your rings have stuff in them too? Yeah, it's gone. I used it. Oh, you used them? Okay. I used everything. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So here we are in, uh, in the harbor itself. Uh, it is the dead of night and the harbor is largely abandoned at this time. Okay. Um, so you all have kind of come in from across the way. Actually, just give me one more moment here to, uh, to sort this out. So you can see, uh, from where you're approaching that, um, I'll bring you all over here. We're going to zoom it way out here so we can see. So you emerge out of the sewer grates from this alley over here. Um, and at this point, Sweet Tooth says, Oh, there's so many smells. I don't know which way she go from here. Um, but you can see that there is a figure on one of the larger boats. There's three figures, actually. Looks like two men that are about to cast off this boat in the middle of the night. <laughs> Uh, and from here are we just like are they man shaped or are can we tell that they're give me, a, per just give me a perception check yeah uh, uh 12 there's something stilted about their movements there's like an uneasy jerk to it as they move about but the, the th there's three men they look like sailors it's kind of hard to tell in the gloom, but they're about to cast the boat off. And I, I go to Sweet Tooth and I say, is that uh, Scritches? Scritches? Scribbles. Favorite, Scribbles, sorry. That's no, Scribbles' says, favorite boat? Oh, yes. That, that's the boat that she wants. Yes, yes, yes. Hmm. You think she might be there? Maybe. All right. And I pick her up <laughs> and I start to run towards the boat. Okay. I follow. All right. Um, looking around very quickly, is there like a harbor master, like a dock quarter, like a, 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 a like that one, like the one place that's still on because they have to be is the, there any these other are the low on? docks right okay. so there are lights in the, across the street that illuminate everything so there's visibility uh but it, but everything is in dim light essentially okay okay, okay. so it's enough that it, it, it's it's enough that you don't have disadvantage on any attack rolls and anything but you do have disadvantage on perception checks um most the whole place is deserted because it's practically 3 a.m right now and so to see someone casting off a boat at 3 a.m is extremely strange weird i'm going for it i'm gonna I'm follow like, i'm like <laughs> lancelot and monty python doing that dun, 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 with a rat under my arm like bolting towards this boat <laughs> okay so um 
in uh, in that case, we'll just recenter that. So, in that case, you you bolt towards the boat, and as you get closer and closer to it, the three men don't regard you at all. They continue on their on their work, and that is the point that you can see the blast holes in the middle of their torsos mm. and the cold look in their eyes. These men have been zombified, but also murdered very recently. <laughs> Seems like the only- three of them are fishermen and they are all working to get the boat going. Seems like something a magical rat would do. Keep running towards the boat. So yeah. these are Oops. yeah, yep, yeah, you, you, undead rats, uh, undead people. Yep, yeah, they're they're zombie fishermen that are te- are getting their boat going. I'm I'm gonna just run and yeah, with with Rudy, I assume that we're just gonna run and jump onto the boat. I don't know if that's the plan, but that's where I'm aiming. That's the plan. <laughs> Let's do it. And we're carrying uh, Sweet Tooth under my arm. <laughs> I just toss her over the edge. <laughs> oh no! She I'm must take her. us to Scribbles. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she, she will take us to Scribbles. As I okay. approach the boat, I like toss her on and do like a running jump onto the boat. She, she, yeah. Uh, they, they haven't. They're not far enough. Far because you guys didn't take a rest or anything. They are not in a state where they could cast off yet. So, oh, so they're, so they're just yeah. getting prepped, and we're like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're they're working to cast Panicking. the boat off, but they're they're in no condition to to do it. So th- this uh, this is a, a larger boat that it definitely has a lower hatch to it, but it's enough that only a crew of like three people could operate it. The hatch is closed. The sails are are getting prepared, and the three zombified men are working at it. They don't regard you as you jump onto the boat, and they all continue working. I'm, I'm actually then I'm going to push past them and open up the hatch to the lower deck. Okay. <laughs> I want to push them off. <laughs> just, <laughs> off the side as I'm coming on. Classic Rudy. Just okay. shoving, shoving her way through So, life. Wilhelm. Yeah. As you open up the hatch, right there is the small rattling with glasses. She looks at you with fear and determination in her eyes because she's readied herself to cast Eldritch Blast the moment someone enters that, opens that that uh, door up. Roll so through. I fling it open and I go, ah, found, and then... <laughs> <laughs> I found! <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. Uh, so um, she had that action ready because she was hiding in here. Um, so I'm going to resolve that, and then we're going to uh, we're going to roll for initiative. Okay. Okay. So she fires four beams. Mm. Oh my gosh! Um, getting uh, a fourteen, two seventeens, and a eight to hit. Uh, so two hits. So two hits. Okay. So the two hits uh, deal a total of 20 points of damage to you, Wilhelm. Uh, can I half one of those? Yes, you can, because they're attacks. So that's going to be 15 instead of 20, right? Yeah. And you're sent flying back 20 feet. So I fling it open, I go, ah, oh, found <laughs> and she and goes, then, <laughs> I assume yeah. I go flying into the water. Yes. Right off the boat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now we'll roll for initiative. All right. How deep is the water here? Uh, the water here in the harbor is 20 feet deep Perfect. at this stage. Uh, I got a 25 <laughs> for initiative. Okay. I got a nine. Ooh, I got a six. All righty. And sorry, I flew back 20 feet. Yes. <laughs> Landing in the water. Gotcha. <laughs> <Yeah>. What? <laughs> 
And then there is... <laughs> yeah, so Wilhelm, you go flying off. <laughs> uh, and uh, there, there we are uh, in there. So you are actually the first to act, though, Wilhelm. Okay, so as I go flying off, I land in the water and I turn it into like, like it's not graceful, but as I hit the water, I like flip myself over and start immediately propelling myself back towards the boat. Maybe I like I kick off of this other boat back towards, um, and so fifteen feet to get to the edge of the boat. Can I like get there and climb up, or would I have to use a dash to do that? You'd need to dash. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to use my cunning action to dash. Uh, so I kick off the other boat, propel myself, leap out of the water, grab the edge, and parkour myself over. And I'm like singed and my hair is all singed from the Eldritch Blast. And the little tips of my mustache are all singed as well. And I I just kind of snarl at her and pull out my glowing rapier. And I'm going to attack her. Okay. And as you as you do, uh, you hear Sweet Tooth saying, I thought you want talk! I thought you want talk! But you I meant stab! <laughs> I talk with a sword. You didn't ask what language. <laughs> the language uh, of war. I get I get a 26 to hit. Okay. Uh, is Rudy within five feet? Is Rudy within five feet? Uh, yes, she um, is. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so I can sneak attack. Um, oh, nice. 21. 21 damage? Nice. Yeah, so I, I propel myself, parkour out of the water, and just run my blade through her shoulder as I yell at her. Okay. I'm angry. Uh, and I'm going to consider she's already used her reaction this round to re ready her spell. Otherwise, she was going to hellish rebuke you for sure. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, alrighty. Anything else, Wilhelm? Um, that was all of that. Yeah, that's it. Alrighty. Uh, it is with everyone rolling a six and a nine. Uh, uh, who was it that got the nine? Okay. Yeah. Me. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it is actually, uh, um, her turn. Uh, oh. um, and, uh, she is going to, uh, look at you, Wilhelm and look at Rudy, and she's going to cast Banishment on both of you. Fun. Make charisma saving throws. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. 11. Uh, 20. Wilhelm, you succeed. Rudy, you fail, and you are banished, oh. Rudy. <laughs> So she so just, Rudy, looks so she, just she just looks and just Rudy just boop, disappears. Rudy! <laughs> Rudy! <laughs> oh no! She she's shrank dead. An <laughs> she, she's dead. She, you killed Rudy! She cackles uh, and, and, and she say uh, uh, and, and scribbles say it's fine. It's fine. I just send her to rat or to banish her to Rat God's little pocket. She have lots of fun there. And Rudy, you're in a banished dimension where you are being covered over by horrible rats that are just just kind of like it's like being in a coffin, but a coffin filled with rats. Mm. They're just kind of nuzzling up to you. I'm not terrified, but I'm very uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> it's not pleasant. Um. Okay. So uh, with that, um, that's her turn. Um, so, uh, Wrath, it is your turn. Uh, seeing Rudy disappear into another dimension, Wilhelm struggling on the edge of the thing, I'm going to reach into my bag and pull out the plans and documents um, from Scribble's cave. And using thaumaturgy, I'm going to create the illusion of fire. And I look at Scribbles and I say, you bring her back right now. And you lay down your arms or I will destroy 
everything that you have worked for. She uh, make an intimidation check. Uh, Twenty eight. <laughs> Uh, wow. <laughs> okay. She says, my homework. No. <laughs> That's right. You'll fail. <laughs> no. Rat God gets so mad at me. He get really, really mad. He really, really smart. He teach me everything. I work really hard on that stuff. And look, I am sorry that my friend stabbed you, but you shot him when he opened a door we have questions bring my friend back now if you you want you me bring your friend back you want me bring your friend back now you give me your give me back my papers now and i bring back your friend and then you tell your other friend to stop the stabby stabby <laughs> Maybe we make oh, well. deal? Yes, yes, yes. We make deal? Yes, yes, yes. And and Sweet Tooth is crying and she's like, make deal? Make talk? Please Rath. make deal? Wrath, we have orders. You are the one they call Scribbles. If we not make deal, if we not make deal, and you want fight, we can fight. Oh, yes, 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 yes. But if you want fight, if you hurt my homework, I cast big spell on you. I cast my big spell on you, and you will die. Yes, she's yes, yes. bluffing. Wilhelm, Wilhelm, you can make an insight check. I get a two. She's okay, bluffing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, you can assume <laughs> that. Yep, you're welcome to assume that. <laughs> I will give you half of the documents now and half when you bring her back do we have a deal yes 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 and so i i'm cautiously like i i kind of like put one foot on the boat and i still have one foot on the dock and i'm holding the other papers and, and i and i'm gonna kind of throw the documents at her feet like oh. some of like like some of the scribbles and like a, a part of the, but I'm I'm keeping. Okay, she she the other pick, half. she picks them up, and then she. Uh, um. So, is there anything else that you want to do on your turn? <sighs> no. Okay. I, I'll step back. I'll step back again onto the dock to try to keep some distance. She turns to Wilhelm and says, you step back too, and I bring your friend back. Wilhelm, step back. Not off the boat. Oh, she, this, and I'm going to say in Wilhelm's mind, this creature, although a rat, is very powerful. This is magic beyond even my comprehension. Wrath, we have orders. This needs to happen. This was our job. This will die. It just will not die. Right now. We need Rudy. Uh, do you trust me? I mean... It up you. You decide what you want to do. I, if you get back on that dock... You give me my documents. You walk. You go walk on dock. You get off boat. Wrath. I walk, and I step off the boat onto the dock. She says, "Now you wait." <laughs> and she has the, the the zombies start casting off the boat, and she casts feeble mind on Wrath. Make an intelligence saving throw. Oh no! Oh! Wrath, why? Why did I listen to you? No. <laughs> 19! You make your saving throw, but you still take psychic damage. How much? Uh, it's going to be uh, 15 psychic damage. Ah! 
and she's going to cast off the boat and the the zombies push the boat 10 feet off the dock and um and she says you think about what you do you think about what you do now and as the zombies push off the dock um she waits the full minute of the duration of ban she's going to wait the full minute of the duration of banishment before she brings rudy back well if she's pushing off i'm gonna try to jump back onto the boat and kill her okay Okay. Okay. Uh, well, hold on. I, uh, she just feeble-minded you. No, this isn't. No, right. we're not talking. All we're right. not negotiating. All right, Wilhelm, um, it's your turn. She's no. I I I'm run. Trying. I'm trying to play with you. And I this. jump uh, back onto the boat. Okay. Um, and I'm going to try to stab her. <laughs> okay, go for it. Make the attack roll. No, I can't. I can't sneak attack, can I? No. But I can try to knock. Concentration off of banishment. Yes, do it. <laughs> I have a plan. Uh, that's going to be twenty-two. That's a hit. Um, ten damage. Cool. I get a twelve on my Constitution saving throw, and she casts Hellish Rebuke. Make a Dexterity saving throw, Wilhelm. Twenty-four. You succeed, I think you still take half of, do you have evasion yet? No. Okay, so that's oh, so well, it, uh the hellish rebuke is thirty two damage, so you take sixteen damage. Fine. Um I'm I'm gonna sh I'm gonna shoot her with my crossbow. So I jump onto the boat, I stab her, I pull out my crossbow, I'm gonna fire it into her. Sure. Point blank range. 17 to hit. It's a hit. Nine more damage. She fails the saving throw on banishment. Yes! Yes. Uh, so Rudy like, appears again with a pop in the water. Because the boat... Because yeah. now... because you Unfortunately, the boat is baked into the map that I'm using. But imagine that it's basically now offset by that amount. And like Wilhelm's bleeding, he has blood pouring out of his mouth, he's gritting his teeth, and he's just like stabbing and shooting at this creature, uh, just like furiously to trying to defend and save Rudy somehow. Well, okay, what? so so Rudy, you're you're back. You emerge back in and uh Scrib scribbles this concentration is broken on banishment. What? Um at, the boat is ten ten feet off. Um, nice turn, Wilhelm. Um, Wrath, it's your turn. Um, I'm going to take a shot at, uh, um, my first shot I'm going to take at, uh, Scribbles. Okay. Uh, I get a crit. <laughs> nice. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, for... <laughs> Do I add my plus five onto that as well to the crit? Uh, it's in not our, doubled; it's crit. just added. You just you, again, it's fifteen oh, yeah, plus the so, dice roll, so yeah. twenty-four damage. My nice. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take the second shot, but I'm gonna try to puncture a big old hole in the side of the boat. Okay. So I uh, I want to take my second shot and just lower it down and just right in like the front side of the boat. Alrighty. And do I just still make an attack roll? Uh, yep. I got a 15. Uh, 15 uh, to hit her? To hit the boat. To hit the boat. Uh, that is a hit. Yes. Uh, for 14 damage. Okay. Uh, you have damaged the boat, but it's not enough. And, and it will start taking on water, but you'll need to do a bit more to get it to, to sink at this stage. Okay. Anything else before we come back around to uh, her turn? Uh, no, no, that's okay. that's that's me. Alrighty. Um, in this case, uh, on her turn with her ban with her her concentration broken, um, she has Wilhelm right in front of her. So. <laughs> oh, I got so many good spells to use, but which one is it going to be? Wilhelm's not going to let Rudy just 
She, he's not going to stand for that. Uh, already. So, I trying. so powerful. So we'll we'll go for this one. Uh, she's going to use uh, another one of her spell slots, uh, and she casts uh, Scorching Ray using a fifth level spell slot. Uh, and she's going to start aiming the rays. Uh, she so with the fifth level spell slot, it's a total of seven rays. So she's going to aim four of them at Wilhelm, and then three of them at Wrath. Uh, so she has disadvantage on these shots. So the first one is an eighteen. The second one is a seventeen against you, Wilhelm. Uh, both of those hit. So that's a total of oh, uh, evil. eight damage for the two shots. Uh, that's enough. And now the remaining shots, she doesn't have disadvantage, so she's going to shoot them all at Wrath. So oh. five shots at Wrath. So 14 for the first one. Yep. Uh, 16 for the second one. Count them. Uh, so that's going to be 10 damage. Uh, and 16 for the third one. That's a hit. Another six damage. And the last one uh, is a big old nine. Oh! I, I'm hanging on with a big old six hit points. Cool. And then she's gonna... So I just get blasted with all this fire. And then she's gonna have the zombies push Wilhelm's unconscious body off the boat. No, Wilhelm! <laughs> and, uh, yeah. And then the boat moves a further 10 feet out. Uh, Rudy, it's your turn. Okay, I'm already in the water. Um, <laughs> so I swim over to Wilhelm and... Just just there, floating. How, how tall is the... Two things. How tall is the, the dock? Uh, the, the dock and the boat are level. The water is 20 feet deep and the water line is five feet... Uh, is like four feet up from the, the water. Um, I'm just thinking, can I, I don't know if I can pull myself up to the dock. Like, what would I have to, I guess, grab onto in terms of, so I've, I've got Wilhelm and I'm swimming towards the dock. Is there something I can climb? Uh, if you grab Wilhelm, there's ladders along the dock that you could climb up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to do that. Um, so grapple him and start to swim. What is it? Ten, 10 feet back yep. towards the dock. Yep, and get him there. Um, so is that considered like a grapple or? Uh, it's going to be your action to retrieve him, swim him out. Yeah, it would be your action. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I guess most of my movement, eh? Mm -hmm. I think she. I think she's getting away. I tried. <clears throat> we shall see. Unless, um, unless you got... We're, in, we're into the overtime. Let's see if you guys I can know. pull this out. I know. I've, I've, that has to be my turn. Like, I can't do anything else, okay. I think. Um, other than make sure you don't drown. <laughs> so you don't drown, Wilhelm, but you do got to make a death save. Uh, yeah. And here we go. Well, that's going to be a three, so I am bleeding out. There's blood coming out of my mouth, my ears, the hole in my chest from when I got blasted with, uh, you know, Eldritch Blast. I, Wilhelm has looked bad before, but he's looking like he fought to the last little bit of his life right now, so he's he's a mess. Wrath, it's over to you. Um, I'm I'm going to start to head up the dock okay and i want to take some more shots at the boat all righty go for it i'm gonna sink this buddy this good this one ain't leaving the harbor uh i get a, a 20 to hit for uh nine damage and a uh a, does a 10 hit no the okay. 10 isn't enough so to penetrate the hull so uh but the the, the hull is severely damaged it's probably taking about half damage so far to, to so I'm just blow, like, like laying in these force bolts uh, um, into the front of the hall to try to bring the ship to the bottom of the of the lake. Okay. Um. Alrighty. 
she is going to use her last spell slot to cast a stinking cloud. No! <laughs> hey, we have a scroll that does that. Do it back. Uh, Do it back. She <laughs> creates Far a more. twenty foot radius sphere of nauseating yellow gas uh with within the the area uh and um now that she is is clear uh so uh centered basically on on the three of all of you uh oh. and with a with a wheezing fart noise the gas appears <laughs> uh and uh settles over uh over the over the area like so. Just so you guys know, I do have a, a healing potion still in my belt. <laughs> I was going to ask. <laughs> uh, and then the, the boat continues to move a little bit further away. <laughs> uh, Rudy, it is your turn. Um, I'm assuming it's my action to give the healing potion to Willem. Uh, yes, as long as you uh, succeed a saving throw against <laughs> uh -oh, the, uh -oh. the, the poison. What is it? Constitution? Yeah. Uh, fifteen. That's a safe. Woo! That's safe. That's good enough. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> that's great. What, that's exactly what you needed to not start vomiting. <laughs> good. Good. Uh, I give you the potion. Oh, thank God. As my action, and how far away is the boat? <laughs> uh, the boat is now forty feet away from the harbor. Mm. Yeah. Um. Forty feet from from the edge of the dock. Yeah. Mm. I. <laughs> How far is that other boat? No, we got we got rulers. Ready, give chase. 30, Thirty feet. Um. Do I have enough space to do a running long jump onto the other boat? I think I could at least get mostly in the water towards it. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm so gonna you're going to go leave. I, I healed Wilhelm. I'm like, Wilhelm, okay. get up. <laughs> so you're going to go for, for which boat? Which, are you going to go for this boat or for this boat? Ooh. Uh, actually, you know what? I will go for the small boat. Okay. Yeah, you start... can untie it and get it going. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I'm like, <laughs> guys, grab out. <laughs> I start to get the oars out. I'm like, we're doing this. Okay. <laughs> this is reminiscent of a cave we were once in a boat in. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Uh, well, uh, with that wrath, uh, make a constitution saving throw. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Can I do it? Uh, I get a 15. <laughs> you also <laughs> like, save. What are you going to do? I... Uh, is the edge of the dock just out of the reach of the stinking cloud? Like, if I stand on the very edge of this dock, uh, am I still in the? The graphic cloud? makes it, but when, yeah. but no, it's 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 covered by it. Like, so I'd have to jump yeah, off the, yeah. into the water. Yeah, you would. How come you? I'll just okay. make it one. Yeah, because the graphic's a little smaller than it. But but it's basically there. Yeah. So what I'll do then is I'm gonna run towards the edge of the dock, and I want to jump. And when I'm in the air, I'm going to take two more shots at the hull of this uh, rogue boat. Okay. Uh, we are determined. Before I land in the water. I get a 20 to hit for uh, six damage. And I get a, uh, a 17 to hit for, come on, big money, uh, 12 damage. Okay. At this point, the hull is shattered and is taking in water. It is still seaworthy. There, there. You've blasted holes in it that it is still seaworthy, but it, like, it can still stay afloat. But it's going to sink within the next two d six minutes. <laughs> yeah. So it, it will. Would have to chase it far, Rudy. Yeah. Uh, and with that, we will go to Wilhelm. And I'll try uh, to kind of swim to out out here. So I'm sh I'm sure Rudy will pick me up. <laughs> I'll get there. 
I'm uh, starting to survive. I'm so I, stop off and get Wilhelm. We'll see. I come to and wake up and I'm in a horrible cloud of <laughs> of yep. awfulness. Of stinking. Oh, so roll, awful. roll it, bud. Potion. Roll it, bud. Oh, man, I got a 19. Okay, <laughs> you are not puking your guts out. Um, I, like, come to and I try to breathe in and I can't breathe in and I literally just uh, kind of stumble and like tumble off of this end into the water. Y'all <laughs> up along the way, don't yeah, worry. Like, it's not even graceful. Like I can't see. I've just almost died again. I'm like so injured. I walk forward and hit the edge of the pier and just fall off of it into the water. And I'm just kind of there, waving my arms towards Rudy, being like, "Ah, ah, ah, <laughs> help!" And that's going to be probably my my turn. Alrighty. So, are you going to continue to pursue? Yes. Yes. Okay. We've done so much. Alrighty. I hate to leave us on a cliffhanger, but we are past <laughs> okay. our time. Yep. Yep. This is great. Okay. <laughs> At the start of our next game, we will find you all on your little boat, paddling after her to see if you can catch Scribbles before she gets away. You've but never this is seen where Rudy paddle like a Viking before. <laughs> but this is where we're going to have to end for the night. And unfortunately, we are taking next week off. Oh, it, no! You know what? We we can't compete with the election for ratings. No, no. So, uh, <laughs> so we'll we'll be off for two weeks, but we we will be 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 back in in early November to get the uh, amazing conclusion to this game. Thank you all what so game. much. What a game! What a game! <laughs> that's ridiculous ridiculous <laughs> very much so it's like yeah. my biggest thing I, I I hate it when people get away I'm like never <laughs> I was just like trying to cut deals <laughs> well I was like nah <laughs> well when it when, when she cast feeble mind on you I'm not gonna the, the deal's over the deal's over <laughs> deal's man off. I still have half of her stuff <laughs> which, half, which half did you give her you still have the uh, scroll of contact other plane hey. okay okay yeah you still have, uh, uh, i would assume you would have kept anything that was actually magical yeah like i threw like the plans yeah the checklist <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah her her needs all righty we we shall see we shall see where this goes great game great, great game, game. well you. a big thank you as always to the three of you for making it such a great game thank you to kelly jill and joe for playing uh and a huge thank you to kyle for keeping things working behind the scenes and hanging out in chat um and a huge thank you to our dungeon master Adi! monty martin uh, for running another ridiculous game where I'm sure we threw a lot of twists and turns that you oh, didn't yeah. expect to happen tonight. Uh, so thank you for keeping it amazing. And uh, yeah, it's been a wild ride. Awesome. Good stuff. Amazing. And, and in our game tonight, we use a variety of uh, incredible assets produced by talented artists. These have been gracious. They've graciously given us their permission to use these assets in our stream games, and you can use them too. So you uh, should check them out and support these amazing creators. We have Roll20 with the virtual tabletop that you saw tonight. Battle Maps by Alex Mandar of Neutral Party and Ross McConnell of Two Minute Tabletop. Custom Maps created by uh, Dungeon Fog and Wonder Draft. Player Character Artwork by Jeremy Cole. NPC Token Artwork by Matthias Bourbon. Monster Token Artwork from the d and 5e Monster Manual and other source books, spell effects tokens by Big Gabriel Picard, and music by Tabletop Audio. Thank you, everybody. Of course, don't forget to look at the links below for our Teespring store where you can find all of your favorite Dungeon Dudes t shirts, including Yes, 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 The Dust Wardens, and Way Bigger Than Ducks. Check out bit.ly slash Dungeon Dudes merch. Our videos and our live streams are made possible thanks to the incredible generosity of our Patreon supporters. A huge shout out to all of you on Patreon for your amazingness and awesomeness, both in building our community and making the work that we do here possible. Uh, if you enjoy the work that we create here on Twitch or YouTube or on podcasts or anywhere else that you find it, please consider becoming a patron of our show. Uh, you can find it by following the links in the description below or at patreon.com slash dungeon underscore dudes. 
We also have a phenomenal Discord community, which is exclusive for our patrons. So make sure to join us on the Discord and you can chat with us about all the nerdy topics you want, including the latest Drakenheim information. You can even talk behind the scenes uh, with Monty about secrets and lore about the Drakenheim world. As well, you get to take part in our monthly writer's room sessions where you can help Monty and I come up with scripts for new episode. And um, you can also take part in our monthly Q&A, which uh, you can submit questions. We take questions exclusively from our patrons and we allow you to ask the questions you want us to answer in our Q&A sessions. The next one is happening this Thursday with a special guest appearance by Brennan Lee Mulligan of Dimension 20. You betcha, you betcha. So uh, with, uh, with that, um, always remember that Kelly and I post new videos every Thursday on YouTube as well. If you, you know, next week we got two videos dropping for you. So those of you that you need to tide over, we got, uh, the monk guide coming this week. Uh, I, I don't know what we actually have coming next Thursday, but this Thursday we have our big, uh, uh, our spell big video combos. on spell combos, on broken spell combos. And we got the yeah. monk guide and then I'll have to remember, I, maybe we got to film that. <laughs> Still, we Kelly. might be filming that tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so that we might got be happening. lots of good stuff coming through through the week. So be sure to check that all out when it goes live on YouTube as well. And be sure to join us live on Tuesdays. We are taking next week off, which is November 3rd, but we will be there the week after on Tuesday uh, when we record the campaign live on Twitch. Check us out from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern time at twitch.tv slash dungeon underscore dudes. And you can catch all of the video episodes of the show on YouTube as well. Keep in mind that we also have released all of season one and we are releasing season two as it airs on podcast formats as well. You can find that on Google Play, uh, Apple Podcasts, or Spotify. Thank you all so much for watching, and we will see you next time in the shadows of Drakenheim. <laughs>